Okay, welcome everybody. We're doing some D&D today. We are joined with, uh, well, I'll get into that in a second. Um, I will be showing you everything from the DM's point of view tonight, though, so you will get to see the mess that is my screen while I try to DM. It will be a lot of fun, it's going to be chaos, and we're all going to love it. But, let's go on deafen so that we can uh, talk to everybody. We will overthrow the government! Why is that- why is the first thing I on deafen see is you screaming, we will overthrow the government? I mean... You came in on the planning rubble. section. That's- No, I don't- planning. No, okay. no, I don't need the details. So, so we're just waiting for everybody- Now it's gonna everybody, be the uh, next DM. <laughs> I found the map. I will allow you to be the next DM. <laughs> but you can't DM in the world of Simic. <laughs> One rule, you cannot use my world. That's okay. Wait, That's okay. Simic? Yeah, uh, this I, is I connected. got my own world. Yeah, Kiwi, Didn't you, you get it. Yeah, you stole the title from Magic, but okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. Speaking of that, we will, yeah. be, we will be visiting Ravnica one day. Or will we? Nice. Oh, when we go to home, we put I plan for us too. Uh, so is everybody uh, live and all, uh, and people can hear them? Yes, yes. Yep. Yep. Or I'm looking at the town Zylandria? right now. Are we still waiting for Zelandria to be all set up? Oh, I forgot I to mean, add I'm my not bubble. Live, I, I legit just went and searched up that one map. <laughs> Here, I guess while I were casually waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah. You know the um, usual. I mean, I'm we are. Gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fix my collab command live on the spot. One second. I'm. Uh, I, I actually, whenever I tab out, I should actually be on the right screen instead of on my YouTube screen for my music. Wait, I can YouTube learn a spell. Screen. I always get Kiwi. Is it underscore in your name? No. I'm so used to your Minecraft username. <laughs> We're gonna be shouting out a couple people here. Why yeah, is it whenever I, I shout out Olive, it doesn't work? Am I like putting their name in wrong? Yeah, uh, huh? Are you? Say um, something in his chat so that. No, it just you, no, it just took it like thirty seconds. It. it took it like ten seconds to register that it was working. Oh. Amazing! Oh, <laughs> well, exclamation mark it. working in the chat. Uh, exclamation point snad in the chat for a Kiwi chat. No. Yeah. Well, exclamation mark working. Yeah, but why wouldn't you want to hear Wait, you say why the did same I... line from Star Wars backwards? No, why would you do that? Donut! Am why I winning? Uh, this? my plan is to at least kill somebody tonight, so yes. You better not kill me. I just said somebody. I don't... I mean, I don't care if anyone else dies. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. you head. don't care if the rest of us perish. Honestly, <laughs> that. Honestly Kiwi I'm gonna shout out Donut. Kiwi is one of the few ones that, if he dies, I will actually be kind of surprised. <laughs> For one reason only. Um, wait, what's the other one? Wait, wait, Zell. Kiwi. Do you have any what? healing spells? No. <laughs> oh my god. I do. We yeah, we have a cleric. Just because we have a cleric doesn't mean you shouldn't take any healing as a spellcaster who can. Uh, yeah, what happens if I die? Uh, oh, so we're min-maxing? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think what I could have I could have took a healing spell, but I took something that was more accurate That's to my right. character. So, for example, the group I am in, I am running a go. circle that of Spore's Druid, and I have a healing spell. We're streaming right now. And we have a bard who's also a healer. Like, we are we are basically a healing group. Alright. Damn. And, uh, That's my, a lot of heals. Uh, first combat, we've got buffed up a lot more than you guys. You want to hear about that quick before we uh, go into the recap? Okay. Uh, sure basically, sure. our rogue went down twice in the same battle. <laughs> Damn. Well, I was a well, I being a shadow Kai and can teleport ran away because they almost they let me have one health after the first hit. Brave Sir Robin did bravely run away. The brave <laughs> druid who is healing from a distance. All right, I made my PNG smaller so you can actually see the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Map go burr. Okay, nice. so like I said in the Discord, when I when I introduce everybody, I want you to introduce yourself as your character and yourself. Buggies. Yep. So, um, before the recap, we are back with Stownix. 
Hello, I'm Stanix, and I'll be playing as Moonlight. <laughs> Moonlight is a more somber voice than mine, and he's he's a cleric of Lathander. Okay, we also ha we are also joined by Zelandria. Hi, I'm Zelandria. I am playing Amsha Selka. I'm just a shy Elkagra, keeping to myself. You just a burb. 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 <laughs> okay, next we got we got Mr. Kiwi Toothpick, the bane of my existence. I'm yes, a cute bird. His eye, Kiwi Toothpick, the uh, Corgi Waggletop, the gnome artificer who also does magic sometimes. He's a silly, goofy little guy. Kiwi the Waggletop <laughs> Toothpick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes. And lastly, we have Olive. Hey, I'm Olive Bound. Uh, I'll be playing as Zinris, and uh, she just doesn't really care too much. I mean, she does, but she pretends she doesn't. She you just know? forgets she has rage. <laughs> yes. You forgore. <laughs> you big forgore. Yeah, I need to remember rage. <laughs> I should have studied your character sheets. <laughs> I know. I mean, I do. I just for gore every single time. I'm like, ah, I well, have this ability. I know I have this ability. And then what, what? Poof, I a brain. Well, Why yeah, do I, I feel know. like Zin that fits Zinris, though? It does. It does. <laughs> also, you're scared to say Fairy of the X? The, the, the barbarian who never rages. <laughs> yeah. Well, last time, our brave group of adventurers started, well, their adventure. They first started off in the town of Neverwinter, traveling down the Trelibor Trail to reach Fandelver. They were hired by Gundren Rockseeker to basically bring some supplies here. They needed them. This place is kind of crap. Look at it. It's it's destroyed. L plus ratio. Damn, shots fired. Man. <laughs> yeah, big time shots fired. Um... But about halfway through their journey, they found two dead horses that belonged to to Sildar. I forgot the last name. Uh, he was a what wuss. What an interesting name. He was a wuss. <laughs> and Gundren. They tracked him down, found uh, Sildar in a cave called... In the Kragmaw Cave. They saved him. They brutally murdered Clark. Like, holy crap. He was not that bad of a guy. They chopped his head off. He deserved it. Just a little murder, you know. Just casual. They've decapitated numerous goblins in this journey so far. Yes, well, let's, let me be clear. They decapitated multiple goblins in this journey. <laughs> all over. <laughs> Zimrus has decapitated many, many goblins. Gorgie's yeah. barely landed a hit. <laughs> yeah. Use your spells. I have them. Question. Yeah, what's up? Gudrun. How do you what's spell that name? Wait, what? Oh god, what? <laughs> How do you spell Gudrun's name? Gundren? Yeah. I believe that's how you spell. Let me let me just double check quick. Does he not have a named token? Because if Does this man not have a named token? And he's one of the big people of the campaign? Because oh, if it's boy. spelled the way I think it is, I'm gonna die on the spot. Yeah, it's Gundren Rockseeker. There you go. Moonlight got it right. Yeah, uh, just. Wait, I where is it? I slapped it into where Google. And then roll 20 chat. Roll 20 chat. Oh, okay, okay. You okay, that. I simply Googled the name. Well, <laughs> look at, look at this smart person. <laughs> well, I was just affirming that it was Gundren and not Gudrun. Or Gudrun? Uh, wow. Uh, I was just wow, curious. Donut. I see you. Is D Donut told me to kill you, by the way. I noticed. Uh, but you love to see it. The party <laughs> reached, Absolutely love the to party see it. reached the town of Fandil, where they first dropped off their uh, supply at Barthen's Provisions, and then they decided to explore the town a little bit. At, well, after meeting Barthen, an elderly man who... Had, I had two workers that two younger workers with him, but for some reason they did not help. What a bunch of turds. You hate to see it. 
Yeah, not like this. But after that, they headed down to the Lion Shield Coster, where they met. Well, I what, what's her name? I don't think we got a name for. Her. I, I, I thought I gave you a name. Did I not give you a name? I don't remember. Did I not tell you her name was Lenin Greywind? No, I have not no recollection of that name. You can we're, refer to my to my VOD for that. Where the party met Lenin Greywind, uh, someone I never gave a name to. <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy. Whoopsie. The the trouble of being a DM at almost one in the morning last time. <laughs> <laughs> you love to yeah. see it. Uh, I have a question. I forget Sorry. this. Did you guys give in the uh, the Lion Shield Coster's like uh, banner thing? I believe so. Yes. We did, did you I add think. the fifty gold for it into your inventory? Uh, did we? Didn't we split it ten each? Well, there would have been like um, 50. No, no, I think uh, I was holding on to all the money. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We, we traded. We traded in the the Jade Frog. Yeah, no, no, uh, you, yeah, you guys traded in the frog. You never traded in the, uh... Yeah, the, we never uh, traded no. in the... The coaster. We never traded coaster. in the coaster. Oh. Oh, no, the coaster. The, yeah, <laughs> the coasters. The, the, the name, the name the I legitimately thought said coaster for the longest time. <laughs> yeah. Because I can't English. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah. You know you have a good DM when they can't English. <laughs> so I forget what you guys. Yeah, I forget last time. Well, that's actually the recap right there. But I forget last time. Were you were you guys done inside of the Lion Shield Coster or no? I don't believe we were. I think. I think like we got there like and talked for a, a few minutes and then we ended. I think so. Yeah. That's something. I kind of got sidetracked. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go check? That's no, fine. We we probably just got sidetracked. We if we really need to, we can do it again. Yeah, yeah like, honestly, at the end. Oh, wait, no, someone got hit by lightning. I no. Oh, you right. attempted to strike me with lightning and then I dodged it. Yeah. I think <laughs> we, did, we still need to turn in the coster. Mm -hmm. Well, then let's get back started up. Well, then, uh, anything else I can do for you, boys? And, well, ladies? <laughs> Who had the uh, coster? I believe Kiwi I believe Koji took it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Here, take this coster. <laughs> and give me money for it. Uh, uh, you see a little- like, you see her hurt. face light up a little bit? Um, did- uh, did- did you get any other goods while you were- well, when you killed those thieving goblins? Did we? I don't think so. He had a little frog, but I think Olive stole it. It was, yeah, it's yeah, uh, it's a jade frog and yeah, we don't talk about stone it. Frog. Jade frog and a stone frog. I took she, the stone she frog. She gives your group uh fifteen gold pieces for returning it. Okay, uh, you want me to keep track of that for the group or up to you? Money, daddy, take sure. it. Sure, yeah. All right, yep, money, daddy, it is. <laughs> money, daddy. I'll handle you guys. Money I'll handle daddy your allowance. <laughs> I'll handle your allowance. Also, last time we played, you guys learned about Edermath Orchard, which is a um, orchard where, who, which is ran and owned by Duran Edermath. Yeah, I think we decided against going there because fresh food would spoil. Yeah. Well then, we're um, also told to stay away from an inn as well. Yes, yeah, so you guys were told to avoid the Stone Hill Inn. Mm. Mm. Is that one the stone hill? Uh, give me one second. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Ah. You're told to avoid the stone hill inn because it's kind of overran with some ruffians. Oh, I thought it was because it was haunted for some reason. <laughs> no, it's overran by a group of ruffians that call themselves the Red Brands. Why is there an Uru? What? Excuse me? Where did you hear an uwu? Wait, what? Yeah, I heard an uwu from you as well. Wait, from who? Like, what? Oh, on the board. There's an uwu on the map. Oh, there's an uwu! Wait, 
<laughs> Who did that? Wait, what? Oh my god. I think that was last game. game. That was yeah. last session. I think you did that. I think I did it because I was fucking around. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> no well, uh, you. I mean, there's also you there. Wait, oh ah. my god, Kiwi! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So in the last one, you drummed it up. They got struck by thunder, and they got a nat twenty and avoided it. <laughs> yeah. No, every time I've ever tried smiting somebody, they always avoid it. <laughs> Amazing. Well, um, do you guys have any uh, anything else I can help you with, or no? Uh, or no. Well, is there any inns we should head for then? Because um, we do need to stop for the night. Let me, Point go, you to the, uh, let me go the double master. check to make sure that this is an inn and not just a and not just a really cool name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that's usually a good idea. Um, that is a smart thing to check. Wait. Uh, What's the average temperature and uh, derivative of the local area? What? Uh, no comment. The book That's very tell specific. Me. I would say since it is part of the Sword Coast, there's always some kind of sea breeze. It's it's, ne it's never too hot, but it's not like cold either. Unless you're on Icewind Dale. Yeah. So, so we're talking. Pretty average. Okay, so this is like. <sighs> Alpine tropical? Kind of. Would it be, would it be uh... Alpine tropical? <laughs> okay, so that would average out to like. Upper 20s degrees, with some variants of like three degrees up and down, rebuilt by wind. High, uh, high sea winds. Maybe I'm another four that's down. In Celsius. <laughs> yes, yeah. Celsius. Ugh. Um, okay, well, I'm just so. trying to determine if my character can sleep on a roof. You could. And by the way, the Stonehill Inn sure. is the only inn in the town. Ah, oh. so we're supposed to avoid the inn. But we're that's supposed... the only inn. Then oh. let's not avoid that inn and um just yeah. walk in. I mean... <laughs> No intended. <laughs> also, there is a tap house right in, a little bit further down the road called the Sleeping Giant that she informs you of. Uh, I thought I thought the Ooh. tap house was the one we were informed of not going to. No, I read it wrong. Time. Huh. I thought it was, unless huh. I'm being stupid. Okay, who shared a brain cell with me? <laughs> Elite did, apparently. Uh huh. 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 <laughs> just kidding. Oh my <laughs> god, so sorry, you were right. It is the sleeping giant that you were told to avoid. Oh my god. Turns out, I, n I can't just not English, I can't read. Okay, so the Stonehill Inn is fine then. Yeah, Stonehill Inn is A-OK. -okay. okay. All right, well this rocks. Let's go oh, to the stone hill. Get it, stone hill. Nice. <laughs> what stone time is it? Rock. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Um, what time is it? It's getting near the end of the day. So... Yeah, we just got done with like a day and a half of going. travel, so... End of the day as in like sun setting or end of the day like the sun's been set for a while? Sun setting. <laughs> okay, so it's approximately... 6, 7 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could always just go get, like, food. <laughs> like, yeah. actual food instead of just rations. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a decent time for that. It's a the, decent that's time it, The best that. place to do that would be the inn. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys want to head over there, then? There we go. We can get oh, some man. booze. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> we can get some wine and women. Women? Yeah. Women? <laughs> hey. A bird could look both ways. <laughs> uh, 
I hate that just because of a campaign I'm listening to. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, human uh, during basically an underground fight match just kissed a uh, Kenku. <laughs> just because he won his match. Damn. Love to see it. Amazing. He's my favorite character. Alright. Let's head into the end then. Yeah, okay. I can just do some road and, and then uh, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you enter? Yeah. Yep. So as you enter into the inn, you see um, relatively tall... Sorry. Once again, I can't read. A relatively short human male. How do you mix that up? Uh, <laughs> so, I was looking at a different one because I thought you had a chance of going there first. <laughs> Like, if you said tough versus tall, okay. Starts with the same letter. Uh, so I, I, like, I was really prepared for you to go to one of the one of the couple farms in the town where one of them is a tall person. Oh but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you enter, you enter, um, when you first enter into the common room, the first thing that you can smell is, like, almost like a meaty stew. And you see, um, behind the counter, a short human male oh uh, there's a couple people, right. there's like two or three people in the bar not bar the inn uh two of them are just sitting down eating with each other and the other one is um you know just kind of cheap just trying to chilling just chilling with drinking she's kind of chilling or he's kind of chilling <laughs> uh he okay Good. It's um. I'll go over to the counter and say, uh, "Is there any free table, <clears throat> free tables for four people?" Well, uh, you can sit anywhere you would like to, but uh, well, getting anything would cost you. I figure. I have gold. I'm just. Can, 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 can we can we rephrase that back a little bit? Because like, <clears throat> there's currency smaller than gold. Yeah, hang on. <laughs> when you and say that, also... you see his eyes turn to gold pieces and then just start popping. I'm kidding. Nah. <laughs> I have yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. I have money. Yeah. You have coins. <laughs> I have coins. Well, if you're if you're that's not the same voice. <laughs> Question is, do you have wares? Uh, I do not have wares. We have food, drink, and lodging here. No, no, wait, wait, wait. That wasn't that wasn't to the to the merchant. That was supposed to be a meme. <laughs> it was a Khajiit has wares if you have coin thing. <laughs> yes, yes. It, I have it was... not played that's Skyrim, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I have not mm -hmm. played Skyrim in about four years. Damn. Same yeah. here, but it, come on. It, it, it's... Also, I never found the traveling Khajiit. I only knew about him because of a Spiffing Brit video. F yeah. chat for Elite on Terra 85. Not finding the traveling Kiji. <laughs> I will plus ratio, plus you fell off, plus no bitches. Anyway. Uh, I guess we'll go to find a table then. Okay. Zinra's kind of just like walks over to an empty table, like just wordlessly and just sits down. <laughs> Well, I suppose the table's been picked for us. And I'll, uh, I'm just, I'm just lurking, so I might as well just lurk about follow. Yeah, same. I just follow in. Um, as you sit down, can one person roll me a perception check? Sure. As I just want no one else. Uh... Perception. Let's see how this night's going. Perception? Go. 20. Who's the best? Oh, nice. A natural. You're not natural. natural. 20. Not natural. Oh, uh, still 20. Okay. Uh, Lan I just said his name. Whoopsie daisy. It's a, it, it's a 15 plus 5. Um, okay then. Moonlight, you can overhear somebody, um, just mutter- The guy who was sitting alone just kind of drinking muttering to himself. Ah, oh, these damn ra orc raiders. They, they keep coming onto the Tribor Trail and taking all everything we have. 
I'll take note of that. <laughs> and, uh... I'll move over and ask him, like, Orc Raiders, where, where perchance have they been coming from? <clears throat> oh. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on a popcorn. I'm not exactly from around here, so... Well, you see... Uh, basically, they've just kind of been jumping out of nowhere and taking, well, everything that they can. They've been, oh, uh... Where? Oh, from where? Is yeah. he talking now? Or is he, like, talking loudly enough so I could hear him? Um, I would definitely say... Uh, after you see Moonlight go over towards them a little bit, him a little more, that definitely, um, kind of, like, gives you a reason to kind of, like, lean over or just move over a tiny bit. I mean, Zinaris is just still in the same spot, but she's just looking over, like, what's going on? <laughs> Aimstra doesn't care. Oh, well, um, I, I guess they've been seen mostly near the, uh, Wyvern Tor. I will bring you to the area map so you can see where that is. Should zoom out so I can see where things are. You're right. Wherefore art thou? Oop. Yep, there it uh, is. I see, it's not very close to the town, but like, when maybe someone got here with provisions, they'd mostly, well, taken stuff from there. <laughs> Figure it's a well-traveled area. But, uh, yeah, they've they just ruin every everything, and then you just kind of see him go back to muttering and just drinking his beer. Like like at a moment like he finishes that, he starts paying no attention to you at all. What a pleasant person. Wait, do you say that out loud? Or is... <laughs> yeah, I said it sarcastically. One second. You hear him. Like he's not even like being quiet. He just like yells this. I heard that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just I decided to roll a roll a d twenty to see how well he heard that. I uh, I may not get another nat twenty for the rest of the night. <laughs> <laughs> how pleasant. Anyway. But um, after a little after some time passes, um, you see this. That's not the right button. Where is my thing? After going minutes, but you see this uh, young boy actually come up to your table. Ah, uh, he hands you anyone all. Anyone else want to take this one? What? I said, anyone else want to take this one? I, wanna... I, I I started with hello there. But oh, you start with hello I there. I don't. Uh, yeah. General, comment. unless. <laughs> oh my god. I zoned out for a second because I went and got a map of the tavern. What's up? The ceiling is what's up. <laughs> the name. Anyways. Wow, okay. This is, gonna, this is, gonna, this look, this is going to look, kill my throat. I will perch on your tree. Don't tap me. The name's Pip Stonehill. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like he's going through puberty, although he only looks like he's seven. <laughs> you love, you love this it? place? <laughs> uh, no, my father does. He he uh, he points at the uh, the guy behind the counter. I'm just here to see what you want. He, he just kind of puts like almost like a menu on the table that says food, house special, <laughs> two silver, beer, two copper, and wine, four copper. Child labor. You love to see it. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I can take a soup. I guess. I can take a small soup. Yeah, I guess I'll take the house special since yeah. I assume that's food. That's the yeah. that's that's the stew. That's the stew that you all smell like that yeah. really meaty, very like aromatic scent you all could kind of in smell when you walked in. You said yeah. two silver for the house special? Yes. <laughs> How much silver do I have? Hang on. Uh, we will we will do conversions in this game. If you do, if you have one gold and if you have no silver and gold, I will allow it to be. 
I will allow you to convert it from one gold to ten silver. Okay, thank you. I'll just uh, put yeah. ten silver on yeah. the table. I'm not... Right. Okay, so yeah. that's, that's five, uh... Wait, so ten... Barbarian gets two servings, yeah. let's go. <laughs> what? I'm just leaving two as an extra, as like a tip, but whatever. Okay, uh... uh after, after, uh... Yeah. I mean, like, I'm just gonna take a house special new drink. Unless it got water. I'll take a house special and a beer. Okay, so that would be, uh, that's also gonna be two copper from you, Kiwi. So, that would, that would put you down. You, that means you would just subtract one gold. Actually, don't you have copper on you, too? Don't you guys have copper in uh, your collective bank? We gave away all the copper. We <laughs> used the copper to buy the rations, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still have ten silver. I have a hundred silver, though, so. Okay. I have 20 oh. gold somehow. Oh, aren't you the money daddy? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, so the reason you have the for... 28 gold is because you held on to the money from the frog, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I was paying for the group stuff. Okay. Well, in reality, um, the, ten, the 10 silver that you put down on the table could get each of you uh, one of the specials and... Well, let's see, that leaves two gold. That could get you a total of, what, 20? Not 20. 10 <laughs> beers? <laughs> Might as well. I'll take one beer. <laughs> I'm gonna drink responsibly. <laughs> I'll take. I'll take one. a water. I'll take the remaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, let me get this straight. So it's one beer for Korji, water for yep. Selka, um, one beer for uh, Moonlight, Moonlight, and, and then, then there eight beers <laughs> for Zinris. <laughs> Yes. Oh god, we have to deal with the drunk sinners. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm really hoping I'm gonna get decapitated. So, so here's the thing: Zinnerus is a reptile. Yeah. Reptiles can't get drunk. Uh, do you? Do you? They can, buddy. Ah. You are shit. not immune. Reptiles are not immune to drunk. <laughs> okay. Um, like thirty seconds go by, and your stew's already in front of you. Zinra's kind of just Damn, like, boy. nods to the <laughs> waiter and things. Spoons, forks? <laughs> nah, spoons. What, what kind of utensils they, they do come, we have? Comes with, they come with wooden spoons. spoons. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, that that's okay. And uh, a couple minutes go by before the beer gets to your table, but yeah, you just see ten beer just get, not slammed onto the table, but put down on it. As um, the put owner... Put down with a little... Oh. The owner uh, actually brings us out. Ah, well, I hope you enjoy the stew. It's my wife's uh, special. Very, uh, very good. I'm sure it will be. Me wishing I had the cookbook that the stew is from in my hands right now, because it's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Mail uh, some stew. Uh, it's called Traveler's Stew. Mm -hmm. uh, as you, as you, uh, as you kind of pick around the food, you can see beef, celery, carrots, <laughs> a little bit of some onion, garlic. It's a very aromatic soup. It smells phenomenal. Like, best thing that you've had since you started this trip. You know, because all you be in our rations. <laughs> and the beers are these ice-cold, dark beers. Like, mm. you have no clue how they got this cold in this time period, but, like, you, you would just assume someone's in there using magic. <laughs> someone's got some presta digitation going. You just got something very cool is happening. You have this uh, white dragon just, it. just who's oh constantly God. somehow <laughs> using the ice breath. <laughs> I see what you did there, all. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you see. I, I, so I, the lie meant his death. I said I'm throwing it him. Him as hell. <laughs> I, I decided to ignore it, but Kiwi did not. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So uh, you know what? Corgi, roll me a uh, roll me a perception check. All right. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh crap! That's a nat one. Plus three is a four. <laughs> yeah, you you don't hear or see anything. <laughs> Yeah, so y'all can go back. What and... do you mean? I'm not a lightweight. You are. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, to, uh, everybody <laughs> who's drinking, roll me a con roll me a Constitution save. Constitution save. Olive, roll at disadvantage. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, that's not good. How do you do hey, the save? I'm glad I got water. Oh yeah, saving uh, throws. Here we go. It's Constitution, uh, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Con, Con, but you gotta go to the saving throws. Yeah, which is on the left side. I got a 14. Okay. That's including my bonus. Just okay. Yeah. I got a 6. <laughs> okay. Um, Zinris, you know what? You get a pass for this. Like, you were, you were drinking, you go through eight beers. By the time you get to the eighth year, you are hammered. <laughs> it's like you are definitely slurring your words. You're like, you are, they don't know what you are saying at this point. Moonlight, like, you are probably going to black out pretty soon, Zinris. <laughs> like, one more drink, you will probably be out. <laughs> It's like making grabby hands at the like empty <laughs> dreams, being like, I want more. <laughs> um, okay, moonlight. Um, yeah, you, you you're drunk. You're not as bad as Zinus because you only had one. You 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 are still fairly sober. And yeah, uh, I, think, I think we're hitting a cutoff point for you. Yeah, Zinus. <laughs> You will now make all anything that uh, any perception or investigation checks uh, at disadvantage. All right. Until for eight hours. Sounds good. You are that well, drunk. <laughs> probably gonna be taking a rest soon. Yeah, <laughs> you will. You basically you are drunk until you take a long rest. And Corgi, <laughs> you are actually fine. Yeah. I had it set for hey, a ten. Come on, guys. <laughs> wait, wait, Corgi's okay? I'm not alone? Yeah, Cor yeah. Uh, Corgi, uh, you... I would definitely say, like, you kind of feel it, but barely. Like, you are... Yeah. You are I a, mean, he's like, a rock gnome. You are Come a gnome. On. Like, you are used to stronger ales. You are, you are basically yeah. used to drinking hard liquor go. every night before bed. <laughs> it's like, this is nothing to you. It's just like hey. my real... No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Thank the gods I only have to carry one person and not furry. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, well, Moonlight can still move. I, I, Zinus would probably have some trouble getting upstairs. No, absolutely. No, I'll be all right. I, I could pick Zinus up. Uh, um, can you, sure, you? You sure about that? Can you? Are you sure about that? <laughs> I, I have a I'll help push. Seven foot what, lady? <laughs> I have a strength 17 plus furry. I'll push from behind. Uh, <laughs> Very gently. <laughs> Well, uh, well, I'm glad you liked all everything tonight. Uh, will, will you be staying here? Yeah, I think we will. I believe so. So yeah. we have about. F How have much are your rooms? Uh, we only charge about uh, three silver each room if it's just for one night. There's How only many beds per room. Uh, there's only one bed per room, but uh, they're big enough that we can easily squeeze two of you in there. Not, not the beds, but the rooms. Uh, I'll just. I added instead of subtracted. I don't need sleep. <laughs> I don't need sleep. Hey, yes, you do. You, 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 you will need sleep. Uh. Oh, by, by oh. the way, I don't think I've introduced myself. I am uh, Tolbin Stonehill. I am the owner of this establishment. I'm gonna set a gold um, piece and. They're appointed to you by your son. Uh, oh, yes, uh, Pip, that little rascal, I, I, I keep telling him not to work, it's just, he's too young to be serving beer, you know? Yeah. Ah, but you I gotta mean, admire that enthusiasm. Uh, yes, he I, didn't I can serve us any beer, he just served us stew. Uh, that, that he is did serve true. us beer. Wink, one, wink, nudge, nudge. One, one day I'll be a, one yeah. day I'll be a proud father when he takes over this establishment. Yeah. Uh, that day will probably not be for another 20 years, though. Yeah, he looks a little, he looks a little younger for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna set a gold piece and ten silver so on the table. Oh, so geez. Wait, wait, so, so, so we're all doing separate rooms? Why not? Yeah, that's what I would that's, assume. Yeah, that's, that's what it sounds like. But, um, before yeah, you that, go off... we are stinky. Uh... I'm not doing this to Zinris. Uh, <laughs> Sailcock, can you roll me a perception check? <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I cannot be doing this to Zinris. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You think you totally should. <laughs> okay, you know what? Then, uh, Zinris, also roll me a perception check at disadvantage. <laughs> perception check at disadvantage. Got it. So I do like the whatever's the small, like the worst yeah, one. Yeah, you, right? take, you take yep. the you take the lower of the two. Mm -hmm. it, it, I Five. Really 
You know what, Zinris? Yeah, you are basically just... You can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> She's like wobbling, like, and falling over on herself. Tripping over her tail. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but... Okay, so it's... Selka, Yes? As you are walking away, you hear Pip say to his father, Pa, Pa, uh... Mr. Adelief's son, Carp, he, he found a secret tunnel in the woods, uh... But uh, the, the Red Band's almost got him, Pa, that... Whew, he barely made it out of there. Okay. Oh my god, that's amazing. My the music cut out the moment I finished that. So, so, <laughs> you love so the it. what almost got him? Can you repeat that DM? Um, uh, the, red, the, the Red Brands. Accent. Okay, Red Brands. You know Thank those you. guys that you were told to avoid? Yes. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. yeah, yes, Pip, uh, d d don't be yelling that so loud. You might have some <laughs> crazy, stupid people who think they can save this town from them. I oh. ask crazy, stupid people. Noted. Uh, that's something we can't approach right now, though. <laughs> people that aren't us. Totally. <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> Yeah, like I said, uh... Yeah, we can meet a command. We got our own concerns. <laughs> like I said, that was, um... Uh, just for, um... To be established, that was the Outerleaf Farms, uh... Son. Mm -hmm. Which, you know Thank what? You. I'm feeling I'm feeling generous. You don't know where this is. I'm showing it to you anyway. <laughs> you probably would have heard about it at least. You probably heard where, like, at least... A general for everything was from Bartham. <laughs> I mean, wasn't Ad Probably. Adderley pointed out to us um, earlier no, in the Line Shield? Either Edermath was pointed out to you. Yeah, the oh, orchard. Edermath. Wait, no, I thought Edermath was pointed out to us at Barfin's Provisions. Oh, did someone mention that? I have no idea. I, I don't think so. Barfin's Provisions pointed out Edermath Orchard. Yeah, I didn't think anyone pointed out Alder Alder Leaf yet. You know what? If they did, they did. Woohoo! It's because uh, we, we asked at Barfin's Provisions uh, before we went to Lion Shield Coster. And then we asked okay. Lion Shield Coster as well about more information of places. Okay, hmm. so uh, with that information, uh, are you guys in the hay for the night? Yeah. I mean, Zinrus um, is trying to stumble Zin around, but yeah, yeah Zin Zin she's, uh, out. Zin she's, she's done for you, today. You, you uh, they... <sighs> Poor Tolden has to go up, unlock the door for you. He is giving you the closest room to the staircase. <laughs> and, uh, he slides a little trash, oh, like a, a small wooden trash can in there for you to throw up in if it happens. <laughs> like, like, he literally puts, like, right next to the bed, which is, like, a little too small for you. Your feet are kind of hanging off the edge. <laughs> For the rest of you, except for the tabaxi, you, you, the, the bed's pretty comfortable, actually. Like, you're surprised it's only three silver a night. Yeah, I'll, okay. I'll just curl up. Can I make sure, like, everyone's good and all right if before want, yeah. heading to my own? Oh, uh, yeah, no. Everyone's alive. No one's thrown up yet. Because, like, I, I would notice, like, we got a dead crew, and I have to make sure that we're, yeah, we're going to be okay. Yeah, no, everyone's fine for now. Yeah. But, yeah, um, so Zinrus? Everyone's door is locked. <laughs> Zinrus is probably honestly not even on the bed, like completely. She's probably like partially like collapsed yeah. over, and then she's yeah. out. <laughs> uh, Zinrus, before you fall asleep, can you roll me one more Constitution uh, save? Yep, yep. Yeah. Constitution save. Got it. Huh. Ooh, 24. 24. You know what? Man, you're, that's you're, funny. You're already starting to feel better. <laughs> you, uh, you Dragonborns have some thick skin. <laughs> but, uh, even with that, yeah, you still throw up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you drank a lot. <laughs> yeah, like eight. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, like, that's why I not even have your body weight, but that's still a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, how I'm is gonna... the pattern structured? So, I'm it's... Keep note of that one. It's uh, structured that the rooms are accessed by an upper balcony. Is uh, it like a so back hallway? It's 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 a, it's a it's an upper floor. Um, the rooms are kind of laid out: three on one side, three on the other side. Um, you know what? Actually, uh, Amtra, I will also give you this one. 
as you go as you go to your room, which is like the last room, you one of the rooms you pass, you just hear some dude singing. And it almost sounds like Sildar. <laughs> Can I actually check that out? If you if you want to, uh, you gotta peek in. Yeah, I, I, I want to peek back over to, to see what's up with that. Are, are you opening the door? I, oh, I was already in my room. No, no, you know this is when you were walking by. Are you gonna op- are you gonna open uh sild- the room the door that you hear the singing coming from? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's it, the singing is in a room. I thought yeah, it was in a room. Back down yeah. downstairs. It's in okay. a room. Um, um, nah, I just want to listen. I listen, try to listen through. Uh, you can't really make out the words too well, but it almost sounds like he's just like singing an oath. <laughs> but I can identify. Surely it's him. Yeah, you you can tell it's him. You can tell okay. it's the coward who almost died in the cave. Okay, so Zinris is the first room. I am the last room. We're all on the same side, and he is. Yeah, so basically, where? uh, so the left side is an empty room in the first room. Then it's Sildar, and then it's you. And then on the right side of the hallway, it's Zinris, then uh, Moonlight, Moonlight, and then the final room on the right side. Just because he thought it'd be funny to see the four foot tall gnome. Walk down the hallway. <laughs> wow. You love to see it. Okay. I'm, I'm just keeping track of this just in case. Yeah, no, of course. So then, uh, y'all sleeping through the night then? Yeah. I don't have anything to do in the night. Yeah. Yeah. I just want my one hit point back, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so everyone's force rest, locked. Right? They're all good. Yeah, so it's a long rest. So uh, anybody who's used a spell, spells, get them back. Um, your health is fully restored. Relevant uh, you, to Philippi, you Philippi can just hit the long rest step. button. <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know what? Can everybody just roll me a, just one d twenty? No, nothing special. Just just a d twenty. I refuse. Okay, you can refuse. Everyone else then roll me a d twenty. <laughs> I rolled Whoa! a nineteen. Okay. I, I, nearly, I nearly got a natural 20, but I got 14. Okay, uh, what about you, Olive? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, wait. I said, it's just a d20, so even if you want to do it with a modifier, just, you don't have to add the modifier. Um, to roll just a single specific die, click on the bottom left icon of a dice, and you could choose what dice you want and how many, and then click roll. Wait, where? Uh, the bottom um, left of D&D Beyond, or if you use roll 20, you'll see the little sidebar on the left. One of them looks like a little die. If you would click on that, you can just roll 1d20. Uh, yeah, I'm using Beyond 20, so my dice roll is just... Yeah. Post- I didn't know that. Right. That's Poggy's. So I'm gonna use that. Yeah, no, Beyond 20 is actually something that's really nice to have. Yeah. This is very useful. I know one of the campaigns so, yeah. I watched uses it. Uh, so, uh, let me know what you get when you get it, Olive. Uh, I'm trying to click it. But, uh, it just has, like, a number three at the top of it. Okay, so, you have so to you... hit the button that says roll next to it. Oh, are you using beyond what? or are you using roll 20? Beyond. Okay, when you click okay. on the, the d20 that's in the bottom left corner, mm-hmm. you then click on the d20 symbol again, then there's a roll button that appears on the right side. And click the X because yeah. you're rolling like four D twenties like at this point. That. It's fine. Just count one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, just pick one. Pick pick the highest okay. one. I will allow you to pick the highest one. Mine was nineteen. I just yeah. rerolled to show that. <laughs> oh wait, we're doing uh, just a straight... another roll. No, no, just the first one. Okay, mine's an eight. It was an eight. Okay, so the wake up order is moonlight, then Sailka. <laughs> Then Zinris, holy crap, and then uh, <laughs> Koji. Uh, but also Zinris, can you just make me one more Constitution saving throw? I'm so sorry to make you keep doing these. You're good. You're good. And it is a twenty. You are not even hungover. <laughs> you wake Damn. up like it's any other day of the week. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Does some stretches, being like, yeah, okay, I'm good. Walks out like it's nothing. Oh, no, that's exactly <laughs> what you do. 
Is Sildar awake? Uh, Sildar is not awake. Uh, you, he is a very loud snorer, and you can hear him. Okay, it's like so everyone he's definitely in that. this upper area can hear him. I, I just wanted to know, like, did he wake up first, last, in the middle of us? Oh no, he he is still passed out after everyone wakes up. Okay, I'm gonna head downstairs. Okay. Zinris is gonna follow. You both Let's... see Tolbin, like bright eyed, bushy tail. Like he's he's up. He's he's doing a little bit of cooking. Oh, you well, see I... me just chilling at the balcony. <laughs> oh well, I, I see you're you're awake already. I'm surprised you uh. Especially you there, Miss uh, Dragonborn. I never got any of your names, actually. Zinrus. Ah, uh, yes, you are. As far as I'm... <laughs> you are one of the like mighty drinkers we've ever had here. As far as I'm concerned, you can just call her your best customer. <laughs> uh, you, like he he lets out a loud, audible laugh, which is what wakes up, uh, Koji. <laughs> What are y'all laughing about so much this early in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, uh, sorry, Moonlight, can you also roll me a just quick con save since you were a little drunk? Sure. Con save, there we are. Swamp, that's not good. <laughs> You're a little hungover. It's nothing that will affect you, but, like, yeah. You, you it's are, a little annoying. You, you, you got, like, that little annoying headache, like... You're a little light sensitive, like Oof. perception checks of a lie on sight for the next. Uh, let's just say until th the sun hits, a, it's around the noon point. You will have a disadvantage. Okay. Can I check behind everyone to make sure they didn't leave anything? Of course, yeah. Um, yeah. There's nothing in the rooms except for like, you just find a gold. She just had a gold piece, just like, not gold, like a silver piece chilling on the floor of, uh, Sinus' room. Sinus didn't <laughs> lose it. it. It was there to be, it was there earlier. Yeah, someone just dropped it. Someone just lost a <laughs> silver piece. It's, it's yours for the taking. <laughs> Might as well yoink it. No, I don't sure. know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Can I investigate it? Uh, the coin? Yes. Sure, we'll, we'll be an investigation if you want. I, I do not trust you. <laughs> 15. Yeah, it's a- I'm kidding, I was gonna say it's a- yeah, it's a mimic. I'm kidding, what? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It, it's just a silver coin. Okay, I'm kidding, okay. I'm all in. And, okay, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, it does I'm have, uh, it. Uh, when you investigate it, you do notice like it has a little crack in it, but not, nothing that like makes it so it loses its value. Okay, I'll pocket it. It's a little old. Yeah, it, it looks like it could have been there. It, it looks like it may have just gotten crushed under Zinrus's feet. Because, you know, it's a little hood. weird there being a coin just in the middle. Oh, yeah, I know. It's literally just, it was literally just chilling there. Well, I think I'm going to order breakfast for the group. Okay, uh... No, that'll be about, um... Tol Tolbin definitely likes you guys after last night. He, uh... He will make each of you food for, uh, five silver for all of you. Dang. I'll drop six. Uh... Damn word. He, uh, he, he, he makes, like, he makes some, like, French toast, put some, like, bananas on top of it, and some maple syrup. Okay, and okay. No, and no, and none of that, like, log cabin stuff, it's, like, real, like, it's a Vermont stuff. It's the good Man. stuff. Man. You love to see it. You see, this It'd be funny if I ordered the beer people. now. <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Zalandria? Uh, I, was, I was just joking around saying, it'd be funny if I ordered beer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Five o'clock, yeah, no, somewhere we, we, in it. Uh, no, we, we don't serve, we, we do not serve booze this early. We, uh, you know, <laughs> he pulls out orange. <laughs> we, we have orange juice, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good. I'm just smoking, but I'll take the orange. He just slides you the orange and just like, I'm like oh, yeah, that, 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 two copper. <laughs> Wait, conversions, conversions. Okay, so uh, how do I do conversion? Okay, so uh, one no, gold, no, one gold, extra silver. One gold. Wait, is it the silver with the crack in it? 
Yeah. Oh, so that's where that went, my lucky silver. Ah! (laughs) (laughs) Works out in it. Works out, don't it? You know, he he comes back and just puts eight copper in front of you. (laughs) Nah, keep it. Okay. Well, uh, he he, I mean, he, I... he he just kind of like f's off and uh, leaves you leaves you to eat. Zinros is just chowing down. <laughs> Even since we're going to be traveling together anyway, we should probably get to know each other a little bit. Well, I already gathered that you guys are slightly soaps, uh, psychopaths. I'm chill with it. <laughs> Everyone in D and D's a little bit of stuff a psychopath. You guys seem to like decapitation a lot more than I do. <laughs> she seems to like decapitation a lot more than you do. <laughs> you know, you well, just gotta get ahead of the game. She is a fighter. Ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a thing with you, isn't it? Oh, no, puns are the best. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, my name is Moonlight, and I'm a cleric of Lysander. Wait, are you saying we literally don't know each other's names oh, no, at this point? no, no, you all know each other's names at this point. Yeah, I, I figured I just... If you guys did not, this party is no longer existing. You are now <laughs> Sildar, Tolbin, Pip, and... 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 and, and Linens. <laughs> yeah, I'm just reiterating my name. Okay, okay. You all have now commoner stats. <laughs> <laughs> what is this session? Chaos like it should be. Of course. Yeah. Chaos, chaos. Metamorphosis. <laughs> well, um, okay, so you're reiterating you your introduction. Yeah. I will literally say... Uh, oh. You what just, brings you here? You guys talking takes uh, about an hour, by the way, just so you know. Okay. What mm. brings you on this journey, Moonlight? I'm here because I don't want to see young travelers die out here. I've mm. I've lost people in my life before, so I don't want to see many more people die and in front of me, at least. I don't want any preventable deaths to happen, if that makes sense. Interesting. Makes two of us. How about you? Why are you here? I'm just in my corner, (laughs) picking at my claws, listening to you guys. (laughs) Well, I want to know what knowledge the minds of uh, Kiwi, the uh, world map, Kiwi, or wherever we're supposed uh, to head, ki- uh, Kiwi. Uh, the what? cave is called the Wave Echo Cave. The Wave Echo Cave holds. Hmm. What about what about you? Who are you, who are you asking? Emtra. The last person, <laughs> Zell. The one who's not uh, talking. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, what? Oh, um. I'm just traveling. I'm just trying to see what's out there. I got tired of where I was before and ended up here. Ate some cash, so I ended up on this job. Gold is good. We all need coins sometimes. I just hunt. I like hunting. Well, an hour of talking goes by. Um, the town is not bustling alive, but you can definitely hear some people talking outside, like just some t- nameless town folks that don't matter to the storyline. Some NPCs, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you could call them NPCs. <laughs> what are all their names backstory? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah, so that's, no. that's Tim, that's Tom, and they're brothers. <laughs> oh, that, that's, I uh, interact uh, with one. You, you guys want to hear a funny setup? Mm-hmm. In Crossworld, the mobile MMO I've been playing, 
that's it's about not how sponsored. people in thank you for saying not sponsor it's how people in our world are <laughs> uh spirit, uh soul diving into this upper world but they think it's all a video game so they're calling themselves players they're treating everybody like npcs meanwhile they're actually going around thing monsters and saving an a actual people in a different parallel world man you know what so, that makes me think of what rising of the shield hero how only one yeah everyone i think it's a game <laughs> all the actual people in this world are just confused like why are they calling themselves players and adventurers why are they acting the strange way why are they calling us npcs what does that even mean but, so we uh, could legit just do a boat like that you know to be fair i'd probably get a little confused if someone called me an npc too <laughs> yeah no but uh yeah they um they just kind of yeah they, they said that the the uh, as you could call them NPCs or Tim Tom the other Tom the other Tim, Jeremy the other Jeremy and Robert. <laughs> Fuck Robert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no no one really likes Robert. He doesn't his name his name doesn't like sound the same as anybody's even when you like shorten it to Bob. <laughs> oh, God. Robert's a bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. All, right, I, I, all right, it comes out sometimes, you know. You're good. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out how to introduce the information, um, discreetly to the group. Also, because the, uh, no after this campaign's what? over, I want a 200-page detailed backstory for every character. <laughs> Doable. That's, that's a joke. That's yeah. a joke. I just need I mean, I totally would. I only, I, have a 32 I only have a thirty-two. I only have a thirty-two page backstory. I'm not reading my... all thirty-two pages. I'm skimming. Make, make for my points. other character. You okay. know, I would have actually legitimately wrote two hundred pages, right? Okay, like at least like, at least two pages is what my recommendation is. And with that, I just want a little bit of backstory from the town they're from, anything they believe in, stuff like that. And uh, please, talk about it with each other. Don't be all from the same town. <sighs> like, and even, like, even if it's a town you want to make up, make up a whole town. I am down for that. <laughs> You oh yeah, I, I like I I will happily make up a whole town like, and give full backstories to sixty people like, in I the town. I swear, no, I can do that part. But I swear, if I mean, one of I'll you says you, are, you, if one of you says you are from Neverwinter, I'm killing your character. <laughs> I'm from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> uh, hey guys, sorry, Moonlight is no longer alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm from Avernus. <laughs> Do I? I need to see if I own this item actually quick. I'm from Innistrad. Is anyone in the tavern? Is anyone in the tavern right now? Uh, Aside from us. I think. You know where um, Robert is? <laughs> yeah, Robert is. <laughs> Just Robert? Just Robert. How far was away Robert is Robert? Robert also the drunk guy we talked to last time? Or the no, uh, that was not. That, the, the drunk, angry dwarf was not Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was a dwarf. You know what? Let me go double check that. Just the ju just the voice I gave him. If he was not a dwarf, he is now. Understandable. God. It's not. I don't know if it's in me any information on him actually. It may have just been something there. Okay. Okay. Um. Role play while I look this up. It, real quick, is Robert close enough to hear us? No, he's not. At normal speaking volume. Okay. Okay, then, then I can just pass this but on e even to if you guys. He, even if he did hear you, no one likes Robert. They wouldn't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Robert. Robert. I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, like, what's Robert's secret like, you know? I gotta you guys want to form a, a Robert hate group? <laughs> hey guys, I I heard I heard that one. I heard the, that part. Why why you have to be so mean to me? I've never seen you before. Fuck wait, off. Wait. You guys know Lady Lydia? Why why does he sound like Morty? <laughs> what do you have? Is anyone okay. in chat named Robert? 
uh, <laughs> perish. A anybody in the chat <laughs> oh named Vauber? Uh, this is not our opinion on Vauberts. This is our opinion on people named Mike. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. So, so, I see how it is. Also, hey, you're, you're, I cannot... You're making the joke go too fast. Also, I cannot find anything about Lorno. Therefore, officially, they a dwarf. <laughs> You'll have to see it. Understandable, amazing. Okay, then I'm just gonna, in a even, not to a little quieter than normal tone, just express to you guys. If you guys want to care about this town in the um and shit how was i gonna say it i lost track of my thought right as i started saying it you're okay if you guys want to care about this town in any respect um, i overheard last night that the red brand's got a secret tunnel around and they're the they're the ruffians have been messing with everyone here so if you want to go for that sure i'll tag along that sounds like a good idea. I mean, I'm in. I'm up for it. I mean, the lot of you are next little, characters. Uh, I really state. wish I could just and do like, heard their the tunnel was near Adelaide. Like, like, Adelaide. Like, um, like no, the really I just want to southern redneck accent. Those guys who gave us good food for these guys. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't the beer called Cold Blood? <laughs> Actually, it's called Iron Blood. <laughs> uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry, no, no, Toblin doesn't say that, Toblin does not say that. Uh, actually, it's called Iron Blood. <laughs> Where did you <laughs> Robert is omnipotent. <laughs> oh my god. I run a perception check on that. Okay, do it. <laughs> Seventeen. Who's joining me in making Bobber to God? <laughs> We're doing wait, this. Wait, wait. <laughs> She's called Iron Blood. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, guys, you gotta, you gotta wait one second. I gotta, go, I gotta go tell someone something real quick. I gotta go oh, tell Robert god. he's a god right now. Who, who's joining me to uh, make Robert into a D&D god after, like, sometime this week? Oh my, oh my god. God, no. <laughs> Fuck Robert. The, the god of, uh, the god of beer. <laughs> okay, we come okay. back later and Robert's just chugging, like, 20 beers. <laughs> he has, like, oh my 40 gosh. empty, he has, like, 40 <laughs> empty tankers in front of him perfectly fine. <laughs> I, I just went and told Layla and Robert that Robert's a god, and they're severely confused now. <laughs> Good. Okay. You so... think I don't know that already? <laughs> I, I <laughs> would actually... Robert leaves the inn. <laughs> I'd actually like to help out if we can. Oh, that hurt my throat a little. <laughs> I'd say it's the best course of action. I mean, yeah. be townsfolk at least in the inn at, have been hospitable. So, yeah. so heroes are we without pay? I could get behind that. I mean, I wouldn't call us that, but don't worry about we... pay. There's a lot of loot. <laughs> I was gonna say like. They'll probably have some supplies there. And okay, yeah, no. even then, even if we don't get anything, the town will be better for it and probably be thankful of it. Thankful from it. As I stand up. Um You uh you know what well, you hear you hear Valbert from outside yell, There's plenty of cool stuff there. I've seen it. <laughs> Shut up, Robert. Shut up, Robert! <laughs> wait, Rob, wait a minute. Robert, how would you know? The how moment, would you have seen it? The moment you say this, you see him just bolt. I'm after him. I'm after him. You're running after him, running after him. Uh, the moment you step outside, he just he's gone. He, he's no longer there. Kill Robert. Um, um, investigation <laughs> or perception? Well, you can pull a perception. Robert's gonna Wait, be our BBEG. Investigation or perception? Which one? Uh, perception. I'm making perception. Robert the final boss of, this, of, the, of the entire campaign now. 
Shit. Yeah, you don't 11. see him. You don't 11. see shit. You don't see <laughs> shit. <laughs> He's gone. <clears throat> Barbara is Nothing. just gone. Well, oh. can I maybe like roll it? Can, can I maybe like see if I can investigate for any footprints or anything? No, like that? he. You don't see no, no footprints. He gone. Is there anybody nearby? Excuse me. Oh yeah, oh, uh, the... Tim is nearby. Let the poor man go. Tim, have you seen Robert? Oh, how did you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you just tell us his name? No, he didn't tell you his name. Just said Tim is nearby. <laughs> 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 I wait. He is, he's scared. He runs away too. You scared him. Wait, Tim. Wait. You 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 see the other Tim. This 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 uh, eight foot tall Goliath. Oh yes, I'm Tim. Wait wait okay. Did you see Robert go by? He leans very close to you and says very quietly. Robert died ten years ago. What do you mean? <laughs> um, how do I check against that? Oh, that'd be an insight. Insight. Oh god. Okay. Insight check. Let's see. Let's It'd see. be insight versus a deception. If he's Twenty-three. Lying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He wasn't lying. I didn't even have to roll a deception. He, he was telling you the truth. <laughs> yeah. Robert's been dead for years. I did... Are you sure you're not going crazy? Yeah, Emtra, come on, buddy. Let's let's go do some other stuff now. Let's let's we can we can meet up with him another time. I'm sorry for my friend here, the kind Goliath, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> oh, keep I cord you. He picks you up and just kind of tosses you back and forth in his hands because you're so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> I. All I'm right, just gonna right. away for a second thinking. <laughs> Move along now. <laughs> I'm just gonna pace away thinking about this. Anyways, are, are you guys okay? It... I'm a little dizzy, but I'm fine. <laughs> well, if you're fine, we should probably head out. Yeah. yeah, let's. I just, I just. Let's oh God. get this. Bobbin is now canonical. Uh, is it is now canon? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm making, Robert wasn't canon. He was no. He's not in the campaign. I made him up. <laughs> <laughs> Robert's now canon. <laughs> Neither is Tim. Other Tim, Tom, or other Tom. <laughs> Making up a character she had at the end of the session. <laughs> you heading out to the secret hole then? Yeah, we have to get yeah. to them before he gets to them. You guys don't exactly know where that hole is. All you know it's in one of the forests, which is a couple. <laughs> yeah, true. You might gotta go talk to the guy you heard he knew where it was. <laughs> well, we could. I can't remember who that guy was. Well, didn't you say, uh... Something, didn't you say the it was the same gang as the sleeping giant people? No, it no, it is those guys. It's the it it, it is the, <laughs> the bed brands. So we yeah, could yeah, just red brands. It, politely it's, uh... ask them. <laughs> Would they really tell us about their secret? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was me being sarcastic. But <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who has you know the highest saying. deception? Who has the highest deception? <laughs> deception. Um, that is uh, I. Probably not me. I'm gonna check anyway. I have, I have a plus two. I have a plus five. Yeah, I didn't put anything into it, so I have a plus two. I have a plus, plus five. Is the highest. Well, I'm a wisdom caster, so. Yeah. Wait, wait. Who has a plus five in deception? Who? Oh. Uh, Do you say deception? Yeah, I deception. thought you said perception. Deception. No, deception. Um. So there, we got two plus twos. Um. I have plus zero. Oh, okay, so I, I guess it's a tie one. between... Okay, so it's a tie between Korji, myself, and, um, Zell's character. 
I can't My pronounce are pretty. it. Emtra. Or okay. Emtra. <laughs> so what I can I'm also give whoever chooses. Can... Whoever we choose, I can give them a uh, extra D4 on that. So what I'm thinking is that we can utilize the information we have of Robert having information on the red brands and use that to infiltrate the red brands and take them out from the inside. What? <laughs> well, that sounds overly question, complicated. Question, question. Did you say that in character? I don't know. I'm asking yeah, like, this is a very serious I, I, question. I think he did. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, I'm not saying that in it. character I want other yet. other to say something. Wait, other Tim? Other Tim. Wait a minute. What? <laughs> yeah, no, no, regular Tim ran away. Other Tim, the Goliath, is the one who stayed. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, uh, then we, we, uh, we got to move. Uh, okay, o move OG Tim is Tim I, and, uh, and the, uh, other Tim is Tim H. <laughs> we, we can't say, uh, Lil and Big Tim? No, uh, oh god, does no one understand what the Tim H joke? I don't. Popular, pop, no. popular coffee and donut shop. Tim Horton. No. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. Are me and Kiwi the Northerners here? Wait, Tim Hortons. Oh, I know that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I no saying, I'm a I was, Northerner. I just don't go outside. Because they are me and Kiwi the only Northerners and or Canadians here. No, I'm a Canadian. <laughs> well, we're not Canadian. <laughs> we're, You're the Canadian. We're, we're I'm Canadian by blood. Canadian. Olive. <laughs> I I okay okay I Better my brain Donuts. didn't work. <laughs> we yeah. actually do have Tim Hortons down here. Yeah, um, uh, the closest yeah. Tim Hortons to me is like three hours away. <laughs> or if I just decide to just drive up to my brother's, that's right down the street from his house. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we gotta find a spot where that we're away from everybody. Oh, uh, you, you see, uh, you see Tom J, this little halfling, just wave hello at you guys and just kind of walk off. Zin just kind of gives, like, a hesitant, like, nod and greeting. <laughs> a light wave. Oh, wait, what just happened? Closer to Shet's wave. Hey, Layla! Thanks for the raid! Welcome, everybody! Yo! Oh, hey, Layla! Yo, welcome Yo. in, Layla and raiders. Oh, boo, I'm so scared. I hope I didn't scare Robert earlier. It, oh, it was you, a D D joke. You tear no, you did not scare Robert. He he is he is God. You can never scare him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Robert is now a god in my D D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Tamara, you missed that. Robert is now a god. <laughs> Fear him. Fear the Robert. Fear Robert. <laughs> No, no, she, Layla has a friend named Robert. That's why I popped out for earlier. Oh my uh -huh. god, that's amazing. <laughs> that, that's why I was like, I popped out over to them to tell Robert he's a god. Oh my god. Gotcha. Or sorry, oh my Robert. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, actually, that, that, well, that would be well. Technically, technically, it would be oh my DM. The DM is still technically god of the world, but you know, Robert, Robert's there too. He's like co god. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're 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 not the the god of world. You're the dreamer. I am the world. <laughs> yes, you're the dreamer. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Do you need me to remind you where the where the person who knows where the thing is is? I remember, but Kiwi, I, 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 I still like my plan of just walking in. Even in character, I don't remember who told us. I don't remember. You over where I okay, was, okay. It was we overheard okay. the Zinar, we overheard Zin, the kid's okay. son say it or the Selka, guy's son. You overheard Pip saying that Carp, the yeah. son of Alderleaf, uh, said he knew where it was. Yes. Wait, yes. wait, wait, wait. Grandmaster Robot, are you Robert? If you are, um, what is your favorite thing? That is what that is what the Rob, Robert will be the god of. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh god, there's an actual Robert in, in Elite's chat now, I think. We hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so, once again, so Alderly Farm is where, you, where the information is. Yeah. Bacon. yeah. Oh, oh god, Elderly okay. Farm is where it's near. And you know what? We're okay. an anti Robin group. One second, I got this. Okay, Robert so just so I have this for later. 
Oh no, the GM is typing. <laughs> Tippy tappy. I was, trying to remember, I was trying to remember the word cattle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The God of farmlands and cattle. Oh, so oh. God of agriculture and fertility. <laughs> they, they, well, no, oh not God. just agriculture. That's a good one. Just agriculture. I, I, I'm reading your chat right now. That's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I think that's good. I think I think that's good. So if yeah. I were uh, yeah, God of Farmland and Cattle, um, mm -hmm. Robot, uh, if, if you if you would like if you would like to see more of Robert, you should uh, you should follow and come by every once in a while. <laughs> okay. Oh so, God, I might have to make so a. If you want the full to... context of that joke, you'll have to watch Elite's pod. I might have to add a channel point redeem that's just say a lot. Uh, say this as Robert. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. Uh, I will be redeeming the heck out of that. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. Like I said, uh, yeah, like I said so you definitely gotta step, stop by here again to see more of uh, Robert, the god of agriculture. <laughs> oh no! It looks like I'm looks like Cynic's getting its own god list now. <laughs> oh man! Oh my poor brain. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, back to D and D. We've been in this in for Anyways. an hour. <laughs> okay, okay, I got, I got something to say in character. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Corgi, can you yep. actually go find Pip and ask him about this? See what he might know. And right. Zinris, move. Can again. you come? S <laughs> what? I said, oh my god, don't make me do that voice again, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna have to do the voice again. Um, cry about it. I can't Zinris. go through puberty like that again. <laughs> Chrissy, Zinris, can we um can we go scope something out real quick? Sure, why not? So I don't know how to to dictate the movement of this. Um, I'm just gonna have you guys split the party. Also, I did, uh I only got Zinris to say sure. I said but, okay. You said okay. Sure, yeah, so Cor yeah. Corgi agreed to go talk to Pip. Okay, because okay, like then. Cor Cor Corgi had Corgi and Crystal have equal persuasion, but Crystal has a uh, higher stuff. So it's, it's better to say yeah. Corgi. Okay, it it's better to send Corgi to handle the persuasion check to convince Pip to give more information on it, while. Me and Moonlight handled the stealth, scoping out the, um... You don't want me on stealth. You want the disadvantage giant. on stealth? <laughs> I'm down well, for it. I can't judge y'all. I'm not I'm not gonna say you can't. Well, Amstra and Moonlight both have plus two on stealth disadvantage, but... It... A Zenris has a plus one, no disadvantage on stealth. Uh, Orgy has nothing. It, it's just an even roll. In your ear, you just hear, "Oh, oh, jeez! I, I don't think that's a very good idea." Wait, wait! All that explanation of why I I was divvying it up was out of character. No, I, I know, but you hear the voice of Robert. <laughs> wait, wait! We hear the voice of Robert. Oh no, no! Only you. You are the only one who heard it. I'm the only one that hears Robert right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I did say that in character. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, for that one line right there, you're the only one who heard it. And they said Selka. They, they, you did not ever give them your name. I, I did not ever. I, I may have gave Amstra, but I never gave Selka. Yeah. Um, so, wait. How, what do I roll? The, do I have to roll? Can I identify where that's coming from? The direction? No, you just heard this in your head. <laughs> Oh, I heard this in my head. Like, it was like some telepathy stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, can you add uh, five points? For I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to think of what to do with that. Uh, nothing, it's, it's just Robert being Robert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make his brother, uh, Bob, the god of chaos. <laughs> Robert's okay, the god I... of being a Chad. <laughs> So the scoping it's out I was thinking of was from a distance and just observing cautiously. Okay. 
So, do you think we're up for that? Sure. Down. Okay. Sure. Wait, am I still talking to the guy or no? Well, well, Corgi would still be talking to Pip. You would catch okay. up with us. Okay. Yep, I could do that. And then once you catch up with us, we'll break away from um, casing the place. But we'd be casing Sleeping Giant from a distance. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, then we're gonna first start. Oh. Okay, we're gonna first start with Corgi's group. Who's going with Corgi again? I don't know if anyone's going. Moonlight's going, with, going me. with Corgi, I think. Yeah, I'm going with him. Oh, Moonlight d definitely wants to go with Corgi. Oh god. I mean, you have the other two going in the other place, so. Okay, uh, Corgi and Moonlight. Okay. Uh, you see, uh, you see Selka and Zinra start walking off as you guys walk back into the into the Stone Hill Inn, and uh, you, 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 the first thing you hear is Toblin, Toblin say, "Hey, Pip, I I I, I told you to stop doing that. Stop, stop trying to work. Enjoy your life." <laughs> why don't Why don't you come over here for a second? Uh, oof. Work your life away. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, <laughs> what's up? What's up? What's up? Like he's he's super hyper right now. Just uh, just come here and t turn it tone it down a little bit. You're you're sounding a little weird there. But... T t tone it, t tone it down. What do you mean tone it down? Listen, I just want to ask you some questions. <laughs> he's still still super hyper. What's up, Asuka? Uh. <laughs> what do you know about the. Whatever they're called. <laughs> the, the Red, red brand. brand. The Red Brands. I, I, I don't know, much, but Carp, my, my bestest friend in the world, you know, uh, yeah, Mr. Elderleaf's son. He knows everything. He, kn he knows exactly how to get into the secret hideout. You cut out. <laughs> no! <Can> you cut <laughs> out? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, I, just, I just quickly jumped out and jumped back in to see if that fixes it. All right. Uh, basically, what he said, I'm not doing that again. Uh, he said that uh, his, bia, his bestie, bestest friend in the world, Carp, Mr. Elderleaf's son, knows everything. He knows nothing. Oh... Uh. Okay. Guess we're going to Alder Leaves then. Yeah. Uh, after that, we're going to switch over to the other group. What are you guys doing? Wow. So you guys got persuasion checked. <laughs> you guys got persuasion checked in real life. <laughs> they, they, didn't, they, didn't need a, they didn't need no persuasion. This is this is a kid. <laughs> yeah. This is a kid hyped up on whatever d and coffee is. It's coffee, but even stronger. <laughs> <laughs> toxic rigs. That's what Basically, I was earlier. It's, 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 it's solid it's, magic right there. Uh, yeah. No wait, don't don't you mean arcane? <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. I will bolt you. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I didn't even catch that. <laughs> Initially. Yeah, oh my that God. took me a minute. Um, That's great. Your kneecaps now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not just a pun. It's from something as well. Uh, I know uh, kneecaps. <laughs> kneecaps, sir. No, just okay. So where are you all going? You're, you're all going to the sleeping giant. Okay. 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 Yeah. I, I say we go in, at least like near the sleeping giant and try to observe what's going in and out and what how it's guarded. Okay. Uh, and I, I have Zen Ritz with me because like if if shit goes to Rai, at, at least I have someone who can actually fight. Okay. As you two <laughs> approach, yeah. can you both roll me a stealth check? Because I can't. Yeah. Okay. Stealth check. Yeah. Eleven. Ooh. Okay. 21. Yeah, you 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 uh you are very stealthy, Selka. Uh you know what? Zenris, you think you are stealthy. <laughs> you are not sure if you are or you are not as Olive, but as Zenris, 
You are positive no one's gonna see you. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, so y'all so you guys are gonna keep approaching? Um, what do we see? We're, we're approaching the building, right? Yeah, uh you see you see a couple of guys and um these red outfits going going to it. Like these red uh, like, how many? like uh you see three. So these guys in like some red cloaks and some uh so like red cloaks and green armor. Red cloaks and green armor. Okay. Um How's the building built? Uh it looks like it's tum not crumbling, but it looks very old. It's a one story building. There's a chimney in it. Um you can't really see the inside though. The, the windows kind of have just people leaning against that. Like a couple guys like will be leaning against them. Uh, one of like a couple of the windows are completely boarded up, so no one can see the inside. Are there any openings where there's nobody that we can approach? There's a small hole in the wall. Like it looks like it looks eye level for like a kid or a gnome. Or and there's the nobody area. around it. Uh, nobody's around it. Like it's on the outside of the building, not near any windows. It's like it's near where the chimney is in the back. Um, I say I flap up and Zinvers check it. Sound good, Zinvers? Uh, I'm checking the hole. Okay, roll me a perception check. Me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's see. And I'm gonna flap up to the roof to see if I find anything. You a feel ten. A ten. Mm -hmm. You can see inside. Um, it, it, it's a little hard to hear through the brick walling, but uh, you can see people talking. Uh, there's about seven guys in there. Uh, they all have the. Uh, from what you can see, no, wait, there's seven guys from what you can see. Uh, each one that you see is carrying a short sword. Okay, so carrying short sword, but I don't hear what they're saying or anything like that. Yeah, the, the it's like it's almost like the stone walling is too thick. Gotcha. With like seven C's. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, um, Selka, yeah, you can't see anything from the roof. All you see is the chimney. No holes, no nothing. No holes, no nothing. Okay. No holes, no um, nothing. And in the chimney? Uh, if, if you want to go in the chimney, you can. A little bit of smoke coming just... out of it. Oh, it's a smoke coming out of it. Okay. Uh, it never smells mind. Like That's chicken. not gonna do me good. Uh, oh. <laughs> ah, nice. Um, <laughs> birds eat each other. By the way. Um. Crunch munch. You love to see. That's. It. Yes. Um. <laughs> Can I scope around the outside of the building, going all the way around from the roof? That's fine, yeah. Because can I notice anything in particular to watch out for Roll around me... any of the other walls? Roll me a perception check. Can we not talk about it? What is it? Uh-oh. I rolled a five. <laughs> oh. Damn. Oh, that's that's a hat too. Yeah, you, you see a hat. <laughs> I see a hat. You see a, you see a pretty looking hat. <laughs> hey, 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 that might be good. You got distracted from the hat. It was too pretty for you. <laughs> it was too pretty, yeah. It, it's, exactly. like, it's, it's like this nice purple color. Uh, purple? It, ha it has like some red ribbons hanging off of it. <laughs> Oh no. Oh boy. You know that means money, money, right? Somebody's investing in this. Okay. Perhaps. Okay, um, yeah, I just gotta return to Zinwars and ask uh, what she found. Okay. Wait, it's. I never checked if yes, okay, it is she. I never checked if Zinrus was a male or female. Female. <laughs> yeah, you don't see a lot of female dragonborn. I was really happy about that actually. It's pretty funky <laughs> and fresh. 
Indeed. But yeah, I just gotta return to Zunrus now and, and share info. Okay. Which I pretty yeah, much I saw got a cool nothing. Hat. Yeah, I, I didn't really see anything up from up there. Just a pretty hat. It was purple though. So you know how hard that's that is to come by. Somebody it's not really relevant point. though. You got a point. Yeah, I didn't you really see much myself. I only saw a bunch of people with sor short swords. Well, it's a pretty oh, that's hat, good to know. <laughs> Did you I manage couldn't... to figure out how many or no? Not quite. Dang, okay. We like probably should back off for now before see, they come looking. Like I said, from what you could see, there was seven, but that you could not see the entire room. Yeah. Okay, so then, yeah, then I saw seven, but, you know. Okay, we should probably back off for now and get to an area that we could be found by, uh, by Corgi and Moonlight. Mm -hmm. It <laughs> wouldn't be good if we were found out, so... Okay, back to our band of people annoying a kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah he, he told you he told you that uh you'd have to talk to carp to learn anything about the uh tunnel i guess we're going there then to the yeah. farm wait, oh, i'll probably just mm -hmm. cut through this wait. grass <laughs> wait 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 yes. wait wait you were you were, you were told anything by pip you were told about someone else who knows something yeah the, yeah pip yeah. knows nothing Pip was told that he told us to go here to all the Why did I think that was a male's name? Yeah, so uh, we just what? go what over you... there, casually ignore the rest of the group. No. <laughs> oh, so so the person we actually got to talk to actually is that elderly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I realized. Sorry, that's my mistake as a player. Cringe. Anyway. Wait, so do you two in character legit just ignore us, like, droning away? <laughs> I mean, figure you're doing your thing. Do I notice, do I, would I notice them coming back, or are they still over there by the time we get, by, by the time we leave? Um, I would say they are definitely not back yet. What they did took a little more time than you guys talking to a kid on Liquid Death. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of why I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Makes yeah. Sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys actually just straight go to Alderleaf, okay? So yeah. we're, we're just me and Zeros are just returning in the direction of the tavern, looking for you guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Zinner's probably just will, like, plop on the table and just be like, there we go, wait for the other two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> as you guys approach the farm... Ooh, that's not the right thing. As you guys approach the farm, you see a short, about three-foot-tall halfling lady uh, oh. working on the farm. Fix his hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Mm. What, you're gonna be like, not everything about me is short. <laughs> <laughs> I would intentionally. Moonlight's gonna intentionally mess his hair back up. Wait, <laughs> Wait that was Moonlight fixing hair? No, it was Forgy <laughs> who fixed the hair. <laughs> okay, okay. So and he's gonna intentionally mess up Corgi's hair. Oh, okay, Come I on, misread the, the, the concept, uh, the syntax. She has a kid, dude. <laughs> well, I and don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Experience. Corgi doesn't know that. <laughs> um, that, That's when you have no. the kid run up uh, and say, Mama, Mama. So we're looking, we're so, looking for the kid, right? Yeah, you're looking for the kid. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Oh god, this is awkward. I don't even know how to go about this. <laughs> she sees you guys or standing better... there for a good, like, five minutes, just staring in her direction, and uh, she approaches you guys. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, uh... Okay, uh, can, can Lee and Alderleaf at your service? Anything I can help you boys with? Uh, we heard a concerning rumor. 
from your son, and we wanted to talk to him about it. From my son? He was, uh, he was here all day yesterday. Well. You heard uh, it from Pip. Friend of your son, rather. Oh, yes, uh, Pip, that. God, the only one I can think to describe him is a psychopath. Like, his father and mother are so well-mannered. Him, he's a... He's a loose cannon. He's... Look. A few nails short of a... Full set. A few nails short of a hull. Alright, but enough about Pip. You just want to ask your son some questions. Yeah, well, make sure uh... he's not getting himself in danger or anything. You see her turn around, like, start yelling towards the farmhouse. Corp! Corp, get out here! There's some, uh. You two are nice, right? Yep. Bring the roll persuasion. <laughs> uh, you know... I just want to see where this goes. Uh, she's a little skeptical, but she believes you for now. Uh, there are two uh, nice men here to see you. Oh, yeah, I rolled in. I. Oh, I also did a. Persuasion check. Oh, she, she, I just rolled insight with her. Oh, uh, you see this, uh... Oh, he rolled a 20! I mean, we weren't really lying. Yeah, I know, but, uh, can you really trust a gnome? <laughs> oh, damn. I feel like damn. there's a little bit of stereotyping there. Hey. I've had bad experiences with gnomes, okay? <laughs> Always playing tricks on me, taking my money. <laughs> that was not the character. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you see this, um, quite short, like, I think, like, I'd say, like, two foot five halfling kid. Uh, 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 uh yes? Yeah, yes, mother? He, he walks up to you, uh, what, uh how, how can I help you two? He, he, he has, like, he has a nasally voice, like, he almost sounds like some of those goblins you guys killed, uh, in part one. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna murder a child. <laughs> what? Uh, his... Hang on. Is his mother still watching? Yes, his mother is there with him. Uh. Well, this is awkward. Uh... We heard that you found some secret entrance of sorts. Ooh, ooh, uh, and, uh, you, you must be talking about that. Uh, those uh, big, ugly dudes I saw coming out of a, like, what looked to be like a tunnel in the forest. Yeah. yeah. What forest? He points to the one that's like beyond, like, right like behind his house. Yeah, like this one right over here. To your right. You can see it yeah. over the wall. Yeah, he literally just points over to the forest over there. Uh, I, I, I can show you guys where it is. Like, his eyes are gonna let him. <gasps> are you two adventurers? Something like that. We're just. Trying you could to say that. He faints for about 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to stop an issue. Are you saying that while he's fainted or after he comes back? Yeah, no, he legit fainted for a few seconds. Yeah. Don't humble yourself too much. Uh... Jeez, I need to get better at actually knowing characters' names. <laughs> Moonlight. Moonlight, yeah. That should be the easy it's... one to remember. Uh, Jesus. Uh, yeah, literally, his name is Caleb. He, he, he points up to a very, like, dish, like broken-looking house at the top of the hill. Uh, yeah, uh, they, I, th I think they're held up under the uh, manor up top. Where uh, the uh, the mayor used to, where the mayor lived, uh, God, uh, before well, the mine before the wave echo cave was was lost. The not what so happened? lost the mines of Fandover. Oh no, they no, they all know the name of the cave. It's in the agreement that like I, I, that thing's like a that thing's like a paper like that thing is like in everyone's homes and their house like everyone knew about it and like it was passed down by spoken word the agreement but. Yeah, no I'm one saying, knows like, exactly where it is. Back when it was the not so lost mine. Yeah, of back Fandel. when it was not the lost mine of Andel. <laughs> I, 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 oh my god, I, I real adventures. I'm, I, like, he's like, like stumbling over his words. And he's so happy. 
I, I, I can show you where it is. I think that's all right. Yeah, I think it's fine. We, I think we know where to go. You sure? It's, it's pretty tricky. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty big forest. It's only like 40 feet. It's, yeah, remember this is coming this is coming from someone who's only like two foot five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to him it's huge. I think we'll be alright. Yeah. Ah, I think fun. Dang it. <laughs> to be fair though, this house would only be like five feet though. Yeah. <laughs> so that would probably like right not the scale. Yeah. Well let's see, so uh, if you really want to get into it, so five feet is twenty feet, fifteen feet is fifty. 25 feet is 100, and 45 feet is 200. So it's 200 feet of forest. Yeah. Which is still not that big, but... It's bigger than what we than what you first saw. Like, yeah, this is, like, give or take, like, 30, 40 feet away from the uh, farmhouse. You just got the blue-colored thing now. Let's, let's use the blue. Yeah, you... someone else had it, too, though. Mine's black. Mine's also black. Uh, mine's deep mine's green. <laughs> it might have been just messing up or something. Okay. Uh, if, if you guys find anything cool, could, could you bring me back a souvenir? Sure, buddy. Uh, I, I really want to be an adventurer when I grow, but mom doesn't want me to be. She she's scared for my. Uh, my I'm gonna get hurt. I don't look to his mom like to as to ask like. Uh, to, Yes, no. He pulls out a little inhaler and like pumps it twice. <laughs> Jesus, medieval inhaler. <laughs> yes, medieval. There were medieval inhalers. It, it, it's a it's a magical inhaler actually. Uh, she, she just kind of shakes her head yes at you. I mean, nuts. shakes her head. Her head, yeah. Like she shakes her head yes towards like the, uh, when Moonlight looks over her for, to her for approval. Ah, uh, yes, just uh, no, nothing that he <laughs> could hurt me or himself with preferably or like nothing that could burn down the town I didn't plan on that I like so, something safe I, I know shot. what's safe for kids with a fire enchantment uh, are you a father yourself formerly oh, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss it's it's been a while it's fine. Well, it, it was nice talking to you. Uh, she, she hands, she holds out her hand, and uh, I forgot a name. I forgot a name. Orgy. She holds out her hand. Uh, Quil, uh, Kellen Alderleaf. Uh, Orgy Wild. <laughs> I butt in. Yeah, she's not turned. She's not. She's not turned on by you at all. Yeah, I'm Crystal and Moonlight, but you can call me Moonlight. Moonlight, uh, yeah, she she, she feels something. Are you not interested? In she, 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 she thinks she's, she thinks she, she's not saying. She just thinks you're a hunk. All right, I think it's time to head back to the inn now. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, so well, I, well, before... I, I rolled to see how attractive she was to you. I rolled a 1 for Kiwi and a 20 for Alex. <laughs> I'd love to see yeah. it. Amazing. <laughs> That's great. Complete right. opposite ends of the dice spectrum. Nice. <laughs> and that happens. Let's head back to the end now. Okay, All okay. Right. Before they, they venture back to the end, Zenris, you plopped on a table, right? Yes. Is there anybody in the tavern right now? Uh, Wait, does the uh, table survive? <laughs> does the table survive? Yes, the table does survive. Okay. Uh, no, the, the only one in there is um, Tolbin and uh, Pip. Can I be just like on the opposite side of the building from them? And I just want to say something aloud at like normal voice over that so they don't um, hear me. Uh, yeah. Robert, why did you run? Robert's not there. <laughs> you hear nothing in your head. Hmm. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I love the fact that I need to just give my, one of my characters insanity. <laughs> Why'd you say not go there? He didn't say not to go there. He 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 encouraged it. He he was said. I think he was saying that you shouldn't go to the uh, sleeping giant. Yeah, yeah. He he said that that's not so much of a great idea. Yeah, no. He's not talking to you at um, all. He he's, uh, he. It's like you know, like the static on no, the radio. I'm saying earlier. I I meant like earlier. He yeah. said like that's not yeah. so much of a great idea. And that's the only thing he said. Yeah, so, so I'm like, do you, do you, why'd you not do you, want? You know, to like go the there? sound that's like the static from a radio. That's like yeah. all you hear in response. <laughs> Wait, I actually hear static additionally on the background atmosphere noise, or yeah, you, you, little, yeah, you hear you, yeah, you know. no, like you hear a little bit of static, not much, but like it's enough to like show like you, yeah, you have no connection with this man right now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get like back to you over later. Being like, Intra oh, Sail Co. Hot Twist Roberts and Artificer. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even consider if Zinris was, like, in range. No, yeah, oh she just doesn't hear you. She just sees that you're talking. She's like, what? I just love what Kiwi yeah. just said. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, like, like, in reality, you've probably just been leaving behind all these tiny, like, artificial tools that are just talking. <laughs> but that's not the case. This is great. Amazing. Well, I give up for now. I go sit with Zinrest. Uh, wait a minute, uh, weren't they supposed to wait for us here yeah, or go were. find us? Why are they not here? About five minutes after you guys get back, uh, Koji and Moonlight, Moonlight. come back. Ah, there you guys <laughs> are. They struggle with Moonlight so much. You're supposed to come Damn. find us. Well, we got a little distracted. <laughs> no, sure we... She like Zinras raises a brow. <laughs> he got a lead. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. What you got? We got. Come in, come in. I was gonna come in anyway. <laughs> and he so... goes over and sits at the table. Well, I forgot the part about the manor. I'm gonna be real with you. But, yeah. uh, the uh, the Tris the Trisendar Manor, uh, Carp believes is like the Red Brand's secret hideout. So two things. Supposedly, the old manor at the top of the hill is. I don't think he gave us a name for it. I think he just said yeah. He just said the manor. The old manor at the top of the hill seems to be their hideout of sorts, and. If the information is correct, which can't always trust it, but you know, the forest seems to the forest over there, and he like kind of points in the general direction, seems to be where the entrance is. Did you actually it shouldn't find be that it? hard to look through? The pit get you to it, or no? Uh. Pip didn't know anything, so we had to go to his friend at the Alderly Farm. Really? Alright, so shouldn't we go and look for the entrance? Probably. Yeah. I thought we go for the entrance. We can probably catch him by surprise if we get into the entrance and then make our way to their base what we scoped out was a pretty well defended um uh, house so they got definitely got something stored in there from what i can tell they pretty much I, all I, had all the ones i had seen had uh short swords good to know Short swords shouldn't be that much of an issue. Shouldn't be, but I don't. I don't think we spotted any magic users in particular, or any strange sets. They all seemed uh, pretty rough put together. Well, that should make this easier then. 
Now shouldn't it? Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Zinris like stands up. So, are we going? Sounds like I'm up with Zinritz, I say we're good to go. Corgi stands up too. I was already standing up, I didn't even sit down. <laughs> so how are we gonna identify the, the entrance? It's pretty noticeable. Pretty noticeable? Alright. Yeah, no, I was asking I was asking in character. Oh, okay, I was gonna say when oh. you see it, you'll know. <laughs> I'm okay. sure it'll not be too hard to find. They'll probably have thrown leaves over it or something. We'll probably find some kind of trail or tracks. That too. Okay. So y'all leave the make an imprint. Are y'all leaving the stone hill in? Yes. Yeah, yeah I think as so. As you guys walk out, you notice. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the, uh, you know, actually, no, I'll save this for later. I'll save this when we go over to Homebrew. Never mind. Hmm. Oh, you'll okay. see. oh no, he has spicy content. I have very spicy content. You'll Welcome see what it is if you watch the VOD. <laughs> Welcome. Well, I'm just going to go over here and jump the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mrs. Adderleaf wait. sees you just squinting towards <laughs> I, the wall. I, I, I have a question. It, can you make me an acrobatics I, check? How uh, tall is the wall? <laughs> Ooh, let's see. The wall's, about, uh, the wall's about 10 feet up. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> the no, wall. Is I thought there, like, a crack like, in it? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a crack right here. My claws okay. give me a I guess I'm gonna skin. squeeze through the crack. Okay, and, okay, is anybody going to attempt to jump the wall? Like, I can actually jump over it. Without, I can without just climb anything. over it, because I have claws. I wanted to see someone face plant. Because there's no way in hell I was saying, I can jump uh, For over example, there. if Corgi was going to try jumping it, hey Nina, welcome. If Corgi was going to try jumping over it, I probably would have made it like a 15 for him. Because <laughs> he's yeah. so short. Amazing. No. I'm but done screwing it, around like now. Like I said, uh, Corgi, uh, everybody is, can make it through the wall easily uh, or over it. Um, yeah, I have a climbing speed of 30 feet. Uh, as you venture into the forest, um, who's going in first? I will. Make me, a, um, make me a perception check. We, hang perception? on. Perception? Oh, hang, hang boy. On, hang, on, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nearby. Yeah, sh shouldn't, yeah, I was going to say, I shouldn't um, either I myself third. or um, Moonlight I, be near the front. Probably. they actually know where they're going. Yeah, you know probably. what? Yeah, that's true. Wait, yeah. I shouldn't probably be in the front, yeah. Or, then again, <laughs> yeah. all they said was this forest. <laughs> Yeah, you guys didn't really inquire more than that because you wouldn't let the poor kid show you around. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want the mom to be. I didn't want to put the kid in danger. <laughs> okay, uh, Moonlight. I wanted you to have the kid take you there. Moonlight, you see the entrance. Well, all right, that was easy. It's this big gaping tunnel in the side of the mountain. Is it the correct entrance? It's the only one you've seen. Because you said there may have been multiple tunnels. I did? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you, maybe. You said that there uh, were multiple, some of them duds. No, I no, I, 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 I said don't I, I said, said some that. big ugly dudes. <laughs> yeah. I could have swore you said multiple holes. No, I I said yeah, I saw yeah, I, yeah, I saw some big ugly dudes come out of there. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> there's yeah, some big ugly dudes. Well, so then, are, that are, looks, then are y'all looks like what we're looking are for. Are entering? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. give me a marching order. I'll head the group. I will be close second. Okay. I'm either third or fourth. Okay, so, so who's Two third? biggest people first. <laughs> I could go either way. Maybe I'll go third just so I'm stealthier. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be they won't see me in front of the tall people. <laughs> then, after after about like a minute of walking, you reach a cave. Ooh. How is there torches? Along yeah, there are torches. Cave? You can see. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just just gotta make sure so we don't end up in that predicament where that 
it, there was this one party once. They they just went through the whole dungeon and then left like two of their members halfway through. <laughs> oh Amazing. wow. Because no one checked that they had dark vision. Damn. Well, actually, no, that they lacked it. To be clear. Yeah, no. Only two of us have dark vision, and I'm one of them. <laughs> Luckily, I have a torch. You know, let me let me reel a little more more in this area. You could definitely see further out into this. Okay, lead us in. That's about as far as you can see into it. So, so guys, are we going in hunt style, interrogation style? Are we going in the capture? Uh, we'll, we'll, how are we going in on this? What's our war goals? I mean, I want them to stop terrorizing murder? the town. Okay, Zinnerus <laughs> votes murder. <laughs> uh, I could go either way on the murder. So we got I'll do what is required. And I'm the only one that has a vote on interrogation. Okay, got it. Well, I said capture, so that kind of kind of okay, works together. Capture. I mean, so you got... guys can capture and then I'll murder once we don't need them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's called execution. Okay. <laughs> okay, As, uh, Oh, so, wait. So... Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. yes. Moonlight, do you know Undercommon? I know Goblin. Oh no. So, all four of you at the same time hear the. Oh, question. Does anybody here know Undercommon, actually? Um, I don't believe so. I will double check, though. Let me double common. check. Undercommon, yeah. I know so Common, Draconic, and Traits, and right? Goblin. I know Abyssal, Common, Draconic, and Primordial. <laughs> Wait, I know a missile, common, dwarvish, elvish, and an infernal. Oh no. So all of you Wait. here in your head. Just Wait, a what bunch is... of freaking gibberish. Wait, what? where's the languages? Uh D &D beyond. under your uh I think it's all the way on the uh, bottom left, right? Proficiencies on the bottom left of D, D beyond. Um yeah. No, uh, that's Quamond, the yeah. Never mind. I don't know it. Okay. Yeah, you just see a bunch of F. gibberish in your head the moment you walk in. Oh, lovely. You hate to see it. Um, um, one sec. People check your spells and wait. Oh, should we uh, perception check or something? Just to make okay. sure that there's nothing like if you want. lurking around the corner or. If you want. Can I, can I use speak with animals? Of course, yeah. I, uh, um, we're not talking about what I got for perception. Oh, no, you gotta say it. <laughs> it's a two. Yeah, you walk into a rock. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna go over to this bridge and, like, test it with my foot. Okay, uh, when you step on it, it creaks, but it, it's perfectly fine. Hmm. Okay, so, speak with animals. Will that technically work in this case because all sentient or should say all sapient beings are animals the only thing counted as an animal is if it is counted as an animal via the rules of D, &D. as in if you can wild shape into it i count it as an animal <laughs> can you wild shape it to a different race no you cannot that's what a changeling does <laughs> okay that's okay. that's called uh... changeling magic <laughs> Okay, uh... Okay. No help then. Crap. I was hoping! I was hoping! Uh... Okay, I got nothing there. I got that. Okay. Yeah, I have no abilities that can help in this situation. And nobody else has um, anything? I don't think so. Then, um... Uh, leverage statics. anything you, as you're crossing the bridge could you roll me a perception check sure perception oh that's not good that's uh, a seven yeah, yeah, you see, ah. yeah you don't see much bud all right i'll cross them 
Okay. I follow after. Do we see this on the left? See what? This opening. Uh, yeah, you do. As you as you enter the room more, you see a staircase that leads downwards. Can I peek in there? Yeah, of course. Uh, can you? Are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> yeah, make I mean, sure. I mean, make sure you're can, going not across how about the bridge one at a time. Can oh. I peek in here before Corgi makes it across the bridge? Uh, yeah. Okay, because I, I want to peek in and then rush back over to the group. So you're going to peek down the hallway? Yeah, I just want to peek in this, like, get a quick look. Okay. What might be in here? Get a little look. Uh, so when you walk down the hallway a little bit, when you get down there, you see... That's not the right one. That's the fog of war. Mm -hmm. I want the revealing area. Fog of war. As you fog walk down, war. you see two doorways. One to your top, one to the bottom. Okay. Okay, I'll note that. I'll note that. And what's everyone's I'm position? Walk going across forward? the bridge now. Yeah. So that's yeah. If you're walking across, then I want to rush back. There's okay. one of people over there. Uh, Selka, can you can you roll me a perception check as you cross the bridge? Uh. Uh. I didn't want to say it, so I try to hold that as long as possible. Uh, what is it? Come on. 11. 11. You yeah, know what? 11. You hear behind this rock some, like, snarling. Oh, it's right. more what gibberish. Rock? Uh, this one right here. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on GM overlay. One second. This one. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Cool okay, weapon's drawn. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing. nothing's coming out. I'm just patiently so. watching it so okay. I can cross over fully. Okay. Guess I'll go in. Uh, so you said you're just going to keep staring over there? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye all over there while going across. Well, as you go across, you see this, like, you see this disgusting creature, like, spikes poking out of its back. You can kind of see its singular eye. Uh. What, what? What is that? Is that a... Wouldn't you like to know? Is, is that like a, like a cyclops or something? Like with Does the singular say that eye or in character? Something like uh, that. I, I can't tell you its name. Or that 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 might give wait, away wait. for anybody who knows D and D. Does uh, wait, uh, wait. Does Selka uh, say uh, what is that in character? I I, I I say it, but not loudly, and I try to get Corgi's attention. Right. Well, I hear you, so I turn around. Korchik, Korchik, do, do you know what that is? At it. Do you see that? I look at it and yeah. If you want, Korchik, okay, you know what, Korchik, a... you're pretty smart. I want you to roll me an Arcana check for this, actually. All right, sweet. I also have a plus five in that. Oh, nice. I got a twenty-four. I... You know this as the aberration, the Nothic. The Nothic. It, it, well, it's oh, sorry, the Nothic. Oh, I think it's Nothic. Is it Nothic? I don't know. Eh, okay, it's Nothic, Nothic, same thing. One sounds funnier. <laughs> it Should it doesn't. Be it, uh, it does not seem hostile towards you. That is not something we should mess with. It's just it, it, like it's still kind of like snarling and like almost like it's licking the rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> licky licky. <laughs> I bet somebody's into it. I love how I'm saying. I love how I'm doing this oh. to a creature that's actually intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna press Wait, on it's into to be this. Yeah. Yeah. I say it's in character <laughs> that is not something we should mess with. <laughs> okay, so you're going into the little hallway. Okay. Yeah. So, so we don't have to worry about it as long as we're away from it. Okay. Okay. I'm just I'm gonna keep staring at it while while keeping my hand on the wall to keep up with them. 
Uh, Moonlight, you gonna go down the hallway? Uh, yeah. Uh, you had a dead end. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, knock, knock, knock. Oh, you're gonna knock against the wall? Sure. It is not solid. It feels like there's nothing behind it. Oh. I figured. Or did and you know to go in? Bonk it with my face. I uh, roll me, just roll, uh, roll to hit. We'll cautiously go in. Uh, mace. I'm still concerned about whatever's behind me. <laughs> Fifteen. Yeah. You, oh yeah, definitely uh, you, me. I'm you staring hit at it, it. and the wall kind of just crumbles in front of you. Oh. The, it, oh, 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 it's only that small area of the wall, but it, it crumbles. So if the if the red S is there, that means it's a it's a secret doorway. Ah. So, can we walk through it, yeah. or would someone have to crawl through it, or you can walk through it? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna like break down the rest of the wall that was there. Yeah, like you, you break it down enough that your party can walk through. So as you enter into that room. Okay. Um, it's a, uh, it's about a, it's, it's it's about fifteen feet tall. A couple stone steps leading upwards out of the room towards what seems to be an exit. It seems to be a large storage area. There's tons of kegs and barrels. Oh, a wall. Okay. Continue describing. Continue. Oh, that, that's about it. It's, it's a pretty plain room with some water and some kegs and barrels. Hmm. Okay, can a, can one of the barrels, right here to, to my east, okay. fit in the hole of the wall? <laughs> yeah, it could. Can, can, can I just, like, wedge one into the hole of the wall? You can. It's very heavy, though. <sighs> uh... Need help? Can I try to lift it? Can oh I no, yo, you, oh you can lift it. It's just heavy. Oh okay, okay. Um, I just realized that my base strength stat is higher than Zinris. Is it? You're a sixteen. <laughs> I'm a seventeen, and we both have plus three. Amazing. <laughs> um, for Corgi, Zinris, and uh, Moonlight, can all three of you roll me perception checks? Okie dokie. Sure. Ah, a three. Oh shoot, a yeah, five. You, yeah, neither of you, neither of you see it. Uh oh. See, see what? Moonlight, Please. you uh, you look into the cistern that is right next to you, and you see a satchel in it. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, I was worried for a second. Hey, what's up? hey <laughs> fire spirits! Thanks for the raid. Welcome everybody. Yo! Hey. Hello there. Hello there. We're okay. doing some D&D &D tonight. Do I manage to wedge the barrel? Yeah, you managed to wedge the barrel in there. Okay, I, I just, I needed to know so I could stop worrying about that thing licking the rock. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 what's wrong, what's wrong with, a, with a Nothic licking a rock, huh? Uh, uh, it's look, just... I... it, what if it tastes good? What if it's a salt rock? Mm. No, I got nothing against rock it. Enjoy the rock. I just don't need it to come to us and we bother it. Okay, uh, so uh, the, it, it looks to be about only about a foot into the water connected to a rope. I'll... Connected to a rope. I'll try to pull the rope okay. to get it out, though. Yeah, yeah you, you get your hand on it. Yeah, then I'll pull it out. It's a, it is a waterproof satchel. Oh. Nice. Are you going to open it? I'll open it, I guess. In it, you find a potion of healing, potion of invisibility, 50 gold, and some clean traveling clothing that looks like it would fit either moon, not moonlight, sorry. It looks like it would really <laughs> only, me. it looks like it would only really fit uh, Amtra. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh. 
It seems how like it's a... How big is this, this little thing? Wait, how big is Am Amdra? Um, I'm... I think I'm 5'6". Yeah, no, it, yeah, you're the only one it would fit nicely on. It would fit Korgi, it'd just be a little baggy. <laughs> it'd be a little tight on me. Yeah, it'd just be a little too tight I... on Zinris and, uh, Moonlight. I feel like with Zinris' is like... Jagged, like, scales, it'd probably rip. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh... it, it looks almost like it's a getaway bag. Hmm. But if you, if you want, you can add this. You can also you can keep the satchel. It would uh you can carry about about only like fifteen pounds in it. Satchel's a satchel. Why not? Okay. Here, uh, I'll... you can also add a waterproof satchel to your inventory. I'll hand the uh, invisibility. Is that just like party. a common thing in the universe, or like what, waterproof satchels? Is that what... Yeah. Or are you finding potion of healings and invisibility potions in said satchels? Um. Either can I learn more from looking at it? <laughs> no. Okay. It's a satchel. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll hand the uh, invisibility potion and the healing potion to Emtra. Emtra. Uh, I forgot okay. to. Uh, uh, forgot how to pronounce your name. I'm sorry. Be happy that I'm, I'm not aim, uh, aim sale this time. Okay, uh, so what's next? Also the clothes. But... Oh! I said uh, aim trade has wedged a barrel in the doorway, and uh, there's a couple ways out. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure we could, we could bust this barrel out of the way if, if we need to run. Would I be able to check what's in the bar- like, some of the barrels? Yeah, sure. Should I roll anything for it, or just open it up and be like, yeah. huh? You know what? Can you do a sleight of hand for it for me? Sleight of hand? Yeah. Got it. Four! Okay. Four? Oh, you could open it. You do it pretty loudly, though. <laughs> Potion of- Potion of invisibility, right? What's in anything it? in it? Yes, there's actually some stuff in it. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. In the barrel, in this barrel in specific, you find some salted pork and beef sh uh, and some ale. Nice. No. <laughs> so you She's find, like, so you find it, about, like... you find about, you find about two pounds of salted pork, two pounds of, of some salted beef, and uh, two bottles of ale. All right. I'll yoink it. Let me just... Uh, you're gonna <laughs> carry the fucking barrel. Grab it when we're coming out. <laughs> no, I just and she's just and yoinking. My... <laughs> you're she's the just bottle. yoinking the ale. Can I be like, you had enough of that last night, and attempt to put my hand on her shoulder? <laughs> she's like yeah. clutching the ale, like desperately, like no. <laughs> Question: uh, What kind glitter. of clothes were they? Uh, it's just common clothing. Nothing special. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm adding this stuff to my sheet, so. Moonlight's just gonna shake his head at her, just. Yeah, Zinus, I can show you how to add, like, some custom uh, those items to your inventory later. <laughs> oh, I know Let how to me... do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna um... write them down so that I remember. Yeah, like, you can put what them in the I... little 20 chat and put them in the Discord chat, anyway, fine. I'm gonna move okay. over to this door then. So, salted. Okay. Pork. Uh, are you gonna open it? Uh, sure. Okay, as you open it, does a 16 hit? No. That one's even low, and yeah, that's a 15. Damn. Uh, as you open the door, you see just three ruffians staring you down, and the first one took a swing at you. <laughs> oh! I just kind of look down, and I'm just like... Do you really want to do this? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Roll initiative. Oh boy. Wait, wait. Your let me funeral. wait. Let me have an encounter first. Now roll initiative. All right. I I also got a nine. I got an eleven. Uh... I didn't get a one for once. I'm proud. <laughs> I got a 12. Hi, crowd. I'm Olive. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let me, uh... 
Let me just, uh... Let me just quickly give these guys some names. Uh, so this will be Ruffian A. I, I literally gotta change their name so I know which one it is. <laughs> Thought you were gonna, like, add color to them. Honestly, this is easier. Okay. I could do that, but you know what's even easier? Going with the going with the numbers that T and D Beyond gives me. <laughs> cool. That would be the one better thing about using the um, roll twenty for initiative, and that is it would keep track of that for me. Mm. Well, yeah. But I That's like why I'm using I like Beyond to, I like using my encounter table, my encounter builder. <laughs> So, this ruffian uh, in the front is going to run forward at you, and he's going to take another swing at you. Uh, does a uh, dirty 20 hit? It does. So, he swings his short sword down and does uh, 3 damage. Oh no. He's then right going there. to swing again and roll an 11. Doesn't hit. Yeah, I gotta assume that. Okay, Ruffy and C. You, you see him out poking his head above him like, Hey, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can't really beat you guys. <laughs> mm. uh, Aimtra, you're up. I'm up? Okay. Yeah. Um, Wait, where's Aimtra? Sorry, I, I, I was... I, I'm over here. Oh, you're under one of the numbers. <laughs> you're under Wait, my what? You're under my area number. <laughs> What is area number? I'm so confused. I'll, I'll show if you go watch the VOD. <laughs> okay. I'm so confused. Okay. I am Olive. <laughs> okay, do I have a clear shot to this one? <laughs> roll me an attack with. Uh, you'd have to first move up. Uh, do you know? Uh, roll me. Roll me an attack with disadvantage. He has partial cover. Well, he has a lot of cover actually. <laughs> um, so I said, okay. roll me an attack with disadvantage. Okay. Come on, come on, something good, something good. 17. 17 hits. Um, it's three damage. How many? Three? Yeah. Yeah, you just stick this bolt. Is it a crossbow or a short bow? I forget. Uh, it's a uh, long bow. Long bow? You just, you, this arrow just sticks into him. Man. And, oh, uh, he, he got like stumbles backwards a little bit, not, but not enough to really put him too far off his feet. Moonlight, you are up. I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom save. A wisdom save? Oh god, no. <laughs> what are these oh, two? Wait, huh? he has to. You're demanding him to do a save? Now that's uh, interesting. That's a five. <laughs> you're gonna take nine damage. Oh my god, what? I know what this is. Uh, what is it? What is happening? You just you just did you just did what you tried to do to Clark. Nope. Wait, what, what, wait, what spell was that? Told the dead. Oh. If oh, because they were damaged. You got to roll a d10 and a d12 instead. A d12. Yeah. Uh, is that all you can do? Yeah, I you hear. Just for you a, hear bells chime as he raises his hand up at them and okay. sends a blast toward him. Okay. And that's my move. Uh, Corgi Waggletop. Uh, how do we, can I even sneak in there? Uh, you can't sneak in, but do you have anything ranged? Uh, yeah, I do. I You'll be have my crossbow. People, though. Yeah, no, well, or, well, that's, what, actually, I'm that's what I'm saying. Since he has a lot of cover, I'd be, I, he had, you'd have to roll at disadvantage. Yeah. And on, I would say wait, under a five, you will be shooting one of your teammates. <laughs> hang on, let me check something about my crossbow really quick. Uh, I am I am all for combat. So if if there's a teammate in the way, it's a five it's a five foot square because I doubt you guys are each taking up an entire five foot square in reality. <laughs> it's like a five by five is actually really big. Mm -hmm. So like you could in reality be, each of you in reality could be standing in like a corner two. of the of each. Like you could be in like the top left like. You can be more towards this side of the square, Moonlight, and uh, Olive could be more on towards this side. And, uh, like, he could just easily get a perfect shot through it. 
Yeah. Him. Honestly, Xenos uh, is probably on like more off to the side, anyways. Hang on, let me read some and stuff. Zinus, if you want to stand him. on the barrels, I will allow it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, no, you know, not until your turn. Uh... Dang it. All right, I have a question. What's me, like the smallest you know, barrel? Tactics. The Pull. smallest barrel? Uh, this one right here, like the teeny tiny one above your head. All right, how much does it weigh? It weighs about uh, no, it weighs about maybe uh, like ten pounds. It's quite small. Shit. All right, I can't use catapult. He was gonna catapult a barrel. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, if you want to use an action to open it this turn, you can, and you could do you could catapult an apple or something next turn. You could also catapult the lid. Yeah, or you could just, or you could just take <laughs> off the lid. Uh, is catapult a bonus action? Um, let me um, it's one action. Wouldn't taking off the lid be a free action because it's interact with object? Oh, really? That's kind of the free. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that'd be a free action. I've I've never heard of those before, actually. All right, yeah, I'm gonna catapult action. the lid in there. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta you gotta you gotta grab the lid and just <laughs> catapult it at the guy in the front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, um, that's my roll. attempt. You know what? Yeah, no, yeah, roll, you know, just because I like how creative this is, roll with disadvantage, but add an extra two. Uh, okay. so do you what do, do I you, roll for it? Uh, disadvantage. It'd be, it'd be the catapult spell. Well, is that? It's it says hit, right? Yeah, it says hit DC dexterity. Oh, it's a DC save? Yeah. Oh, yeah. never mind. Uh... It's the deck save 13. Uh, yeah, they rolled a... They rolled a dirty 20. <laughs> uh, so that still counts? Uh, no, that's a, uh, that's a miss. Does it say if it misses it does half damage or no? Uh... I've never used catapult before either. <laughs> the object flies in a straight line. Three feet in the direction you choose before falling to the ground. Stopping early if it impacts against the solid surface if the object would strike a creature the, that creature must make a dexterity on a failed save the object strikes the target and stops moving when the object strikes something oh no that's a failed save what about a good save it doesn't actually say you know what yeah if it so, doesn't say then it doesn't do damage i'm gonna say it like this though because the uh, this guy this guy right behind him he dodges out of the way it goes flying past him just hits the guy behind him <laughs> So I roll. Yeah, roll so damage, roll damage. damage. Alright, it's 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Yeah, do it. Let's see if you can kill him in one hit. That's uh, 3 plus 1 plus 5 is 9. Oh, he is alive still. Oh. Yeah. But, like, you, so good. you. You, you. knock him on his butt. <laughs> it's like you hit him with so much. You hit, you hit him with so much force that, like, you did over half. You, you did a lot of damage. You just knocked him straight on his butt. Nice. <laughs> uh, Zinrish, you're up. Uh, am I able? I'm able to attack, right? Uh, if hmm, actually, hmm. I would allow you to force. Since we allowed this last session, I will allow this in this campaign. You can force your teammate to the right on t into the barrel cluster if you really wanted to. Hmm. I will allow it. But uh, I would definitely say, uh, unless they are, unless they are, ever, if you ever want to oppose someone doing that, I will make you do a strength contest. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> uh, hmm. Because I'm trying to like figure out, like, okay, what if I like? It... No, I wouldn't be able to do that. That it's because uh, hmm. I was, my brain was like, okay, what if I jump onto like the barrels and use a breath attack to try and like, yeah, so then there's more room, but you like, would still I don't I... be hitting moonlight as well. Yeah. It's, a, it's an, it's, it's a, it's yeah. one of the, uh, arc ones, right? It's like the one yeah, that's it's... like a triangle. Kind, well, it's a, it's exhale of five by 30 foot kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then yeah, that would also hit him. Wait, five yes. by 30. Wait, so a straight line? Yeah, it's a straight line. Oh, well, no. Okay, I thought it was one of the uh, cone attacks. Oh, no, no. No, yeah, like, no. It is so lightning, you... but it's 5 by 30. Yeah, so you could do that. You would only hit the ruffian in the front, though. Yeah, no, yeah, that's the, that's the only one I'd be aiming for. <laughs> oh, then, yeah, if you really want to, you could do it. <laughs> Let's try it! <laughs> I'll say, I'd say you have to move up to this front, like, cluster. Yeah? Okay. And, gotcha, uh, gotcha. I kept yeah. up on my deck save. <laughs> That's a that's a twenty one. 
Oh, nah. I think I still, That's still, I think it still takes half damage. damage. Like yeah, so I got a 12. Yeah. Yeah, uh, twelve. So he takes six damage. Yeah. That's my uh. That's that. Uh. That's uh. Yeah. You 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 burn his body to a crisp with that lightning. <laughs> you like you see, you see him like almost like shake as he just falls down dead. <laughs> do you guys still want to do this? Oh no, they are. You're in there. They're you're in their turf. They. they... Hey, why'd you kill Billy? <laughs> He had a kid! <laughs> As Ru Ruffian B says that, runs up and will take two swings at Moonlight. I'll cry about it. Oh, uh, that's, that's a six. That's and a that's a 14. That's a miss. Uh, yeah, th th this guy uh, this guy just kind of stands back up. He, he, he physically can't reach you guys. <laughs> yeah. Moonlight just blocks both of his swings with his shield. Uh, intro, you're up. <laughs> Um, can I shoot from here into the wall to hit this guy? No, you cannot. For half damage. Ricochet. You know what? It, I am fine with that, but it will be a disadvantage roll as well. Okay. I said, I I like the batshit crazy ideas. I like that stuff. <laughs> Because a longbow in this small quarters with accuracy would have enough force to bounce an arrow off a wall. Dude, if you're using a short bow, I'd be like, yeah, no, go for it. I'm down. But I said, like, something like that, I will always make you roll at disadvantage. I could go for it because we're pretty safe. I just want to, I just want to do it. Okay. Um, wait, can, wait, what happened to my actions? Oh, wait, I scrolled. I'm an idiot. <laughs> don't, don't, don't mind me. I'm. So did you? Uh, I'm smart. Okay, let's see. What you? I was gonna do a lot of disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, that's first a 19 oh, no. and then a 22. Oh yeah, 19 yeah. hits. Uh, roll damage uh, and we'll take half out. Um. I don't think you. Uh, well, don't think you can take half of that. The the the, the, the way he said is. Is it a one? I rolled a one. A yeah, one. you know, yeah, he'll, he'll take. Yeah, he just takes a one. Just takes the one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you hear this guy yell? Did somebody just poke me? <laughs> it's like, 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 what, 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 like, is there a mosquito in here? <laughs> How did a mosquito get in a cave? <laughs> he, he's just as confused as you are. <laughs> it, it distracted him. <laughs> He wants to know why there's a mosquito in here. <laughs> Wait, who's up next? Oh, uh, Moonlight's up. Uh, Alright. Oh my god. So. I'm gonna need you to make me a wisdom save. Oh boy. I, got, I gotta see where their uh, modifier is. That is a 9. That fails. Has he taken damage yet? Yes, he has. Wait. Lovely. No, he has not. Ah. So this is the only one who's not taken damage yet. Now he has. Seven damage? Okay. Seven damage. Uh, Even though it's not, like, ice <laughs> damage, I do like to feel like necrotic damage is, like, so, like, he feels very cold for a second before it instantly gets, like, getting really hot. I imagine it kind of, like... <laughs> or, like, it just gives him existential decays. dread. Decays. Because necr necrosis is, like, decaying, so... I, th I think I just... I like to think he just gets existential dread. <laughs> it, it's like psychic damage, but on a whole nother level. <laughs> every every college student right now. <laughs> Koji Waggletop's survive. turn. Oh, I was gonna say. All right. Um, yeah, he survived it. Yeah, I was gonna say to him like, uh, you can still survive if you just surrender. We have a mage who can make you feel pain from a distance. I'm sure one of you felt that poke. Surrender now, or you're dead. Roaming intimidation, Silka. 
Damn, that's smart. <laughs> I say you were the one who was way more threatening there. Uh, but with advantage. Oh, oh I am so happy you said advantage. No! I rolled a two twice in a row! <laughs> this guy gets more wow. pumped up. Every other word you said was a voice crack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Clown. <laughs> Uh, plus ratio. Okay, uh, Corgi, you are up. <laughs> Eat him. Is there a cooldown on catapult, or can I just catapult something at him? You can you catapult something every um, turn if you want to, as long as you have the object. I, uh, I, uh, what's in the barrel? I, uh, in this I, barrel, you see a bottle, a bottle of ale, and a bunch of oranges and apples. <gasps> Shoot the ale at him. Shoot the ale at him. Shoot the ale at him. Yeah. I, you know what? Oh I am okay with that. Shoot the ale at him. Right. I'm treating All this right. like I'm treating this like an ice knife, by the way. All right. So dexterity save then. No. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry. Dexterity save. That is a nat twenty. Oh my god. We know what? Uh. But you know what? I'm still going to roll for the guy behind him because this guy just dodged out of the way like the guy before him did. <laughs> and that's a 16. That, that, that That'll also works. pass. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he just exploded a bottle of ale on yeah, the wall. Th yeah, these guys both just <laughs> dodge it. And you hear, you hear it uh, breaking against the wall and you hear it in Moonlight. The guy we weren't oh, joking. We do have a mage who can oh, throw things at that you. That was my bed, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> He's even more pissed off now. Right. Can I yell? We weren't joking. We do have a mage who can throw things at you. Sure, but uh, if you want to roll me intimidation, you can. I don't think they're going to be intimidated by you, man. Like, uh, he, he's pretty pissed off. I'm sending this pretty high after you after you got ale on his bed. Right, I got I got an eight. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's not scared of you. Damn. Oh, sorry. Forgot to mute there. Uh, Zinris, your turn. Um, hmm. Why is the bomb gone? <laughs> Do you think I'd be able to just, like, just, like, swing my great, like, great axe on the side kind of thing to try and, like... I... Uh, technically, I, I don't think so, because, like, it is through a doorway. Mm. Yeah. You can uh, tell M Moonlight to duck. I'll say, or you do have your handy dandy throwing axes, or I, I believe you have a hand axe or a javelin. You could just quickly attempt to throw at them or something. That's true. Right. Hand axe. Yep. Mm -hmm. I have Maybe that. You also have rage. Yeah, well, it, you're telling, them, you're telling ah. all of this near the end of the combat, really? <laughs> I mean, we don't need it. I'm just reminding you that you have it. Yeah, right. I was not going to remind Olive. If, if she did not use it this time, I was not going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. All right. Uh, then <laughs> okay, um, I will use a hand axe to try and throw at the person at the doorway. Okay, roll, roll to hit. I will. I will allow this as a regular attack. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Roll damage. All right. Seven. You see. Uh, you see this guy uh, in front of... Uh, oh, you see this guy? He kind of falls down to a knee but stands back up. He is still alive and kicking. He looks oh, very... Dang. He looks very beat up. He just rips the hand axe out of him, throws it behind himself, and just goes on to attack Moonlight again because he's the only one he can hit with a short sword. Cry about That's it. a six again. That's a fail again. Flame, flame your dice that's going away. <laughs> and that's a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Dealing... I think that's four damage. Let me just double check. Four damage. Yep. That's fine. I'll be okay. This, this guy... He's, he's literally just trying to get in this fight, like, looking over this dude's shoulders still. Like, he really wants to fight you guys. <laughs> so uh, he have, like, is... a ranged weapon or something? Yeah, they only have short swords. Wow. Like the red brand Oh, your sword. You know what? <laughs> Volna's a disadvantage because it's because it's bigger than a th it's bigger than a, it's not a thrown weapon. <laughs> okay, that's uh 
That's a th 13 to hit. That this is, is not taking hitting. way longer than it should have. Yeah, he just the sword just <laughs> dinks off your armor and falls to the ground. <laughs> okay. <Your> crickets. <laughs> Andre, you're up. Um, what's my moving distance? Uh, you have 25 feet. feet. You can move. Well, no, uh, 25 feet. Uh, yeah, Aracocra. But I could flap myself 50. No, wait, no, I, I'm wearing medium. I can only flap myself 25. And you'd only send yourself into the air about 10 feet in this room before you'd be hitting your head on the ceiling. Wait, no, it wouldn't be straight up. No, I'm saying if you would go straight up, you only have about 10 feet. Okay. Yeah, you could fly over that water fixture. Could, could, could I flap over... Spear with two hands, lodging it into him. No. Okay. I feel like, wait, because the spear, wait, does the spear have reach? The the spear does not have reach, no. The range says 20, currently 60. That's throwing. That's for throwing. The, yeah, simple, thrown, versatile range. <laughs> Yeah, so that no, so that's for the throwing range, the the twenty to sixty. If it's a if it's just a basic attack, it is um, it would just be five feet. And if you yeah, but I'll... if you'd be hovering above them, you'd be at least especially if you were above moonlight, you would be already seven feet off the ground. Uh, wait, there's only ten feet free above me. Well, no, so it's a 15 feet high, 15 foot high ceiling. The reason it's only about 10 feet is because by the time you get, as you know, yeah, sorry, 15 feet. Yeah, duh. Yeah, because I'm like five, five and a half feet. Yeah. Like my roof at the ceiling, my feet are only like 10 above the ground. Yeah, turns out I'm just really bad Which at math, actually. Five below. Good job. <laughs> so he would be in range. Yeah, yeah, you could throw it at him. It, 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 well, I would be moving onto him. I would be moving on to him. I do not think the static. doors would go up 15 feet. Okay, Probably valid. Not. There is a door. I would I say doors are a basic human height of between five and six feet tall. I'll say I'll be generous to say even like five foot. It would be big enough for you to fly through if moonlight was not. Doors are seven way. foot tall. The door is exactly seven foot tall. You still have a giant tabaxi in your way. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I forgot about the door. Period. I'll have yeah, to no, lean into cool. the door like Lady Dumitrescu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I got nothing. I don't know what I'm doing. I might as well just shoot, I guess. Okay. Shoot for his knee. Shoot for Go his for knee. the kneecap. Okay, roll to hit. Oh. 24. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Oh, uh, wait. Why did that... Why did it roll two dice? Because you critted. Oh, crit nine, five plus four. Uh, yeah, you kill him, and you said you hit, you said you aim for the knee, right? Yeah. As you hit him, you just hear him quietly say, "And uh, until I took an arrow to the knee and just falls dead." <laughs> Moonlight, you're up. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna push my way into the room. Okay. And bunkus wonkus. <laughs> Did you say bonk? Bonkus wonkus. Okay. Well to hit. Uh, that's probably not hitting. Yeah, that's a miss. Sadly. Oh, so you're going in for murder too. Okay. I mean, no, I ended up going in for murder like an idiot. Uh, Corgi, that it would be you. Um, I was swinging non-lethal that I'm assuming I don't have line of sight right now. You have line of sight. The door is open. And you can move in. All right. But yeah, I will say, I, if I remember properly, magical ranged attacks cannot be done non-lethally, especially catapult. Mm. You are literally <laughs> hurling an object very quickly at them. Yeah, magic can't be. Non yeah, I'll say like I, I am fine with basic range being uh not can be, being non-lethal, even though I believe you can't do that. I ra I'm I'm okay with that one though because you can specifically. Oh yeah, I aim for the knee. You hit someone, let's say, with a... Let's say you hit someone in the face with an apple going, like, 10 miles per hour. They're dead. Mm. Or they at least yeah. suffered some pretty big brain damage. Brain damage. Oh. Brain damage. Oh. 
I'll crossbow them non-lethally. Okay, you aim for the knees, got it. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a 15 to hit. That hits. How do you do it? I aim for the knee. Yeah, he only yeah, he had two health. He had two health left. <laughs> okay, I rolled a seven on damage. Yeah, so uh yeah, he, he you see him just like go down and just slowly bleed from his knee and goes unconscious. <laughs> okay, uh since you are in the room actually, Moonlight. Rope time. Uh okay, I can time up. Yep. Um, and tie him up. Do you actually have rope? Yeah, I have 50 feet of hemp and rope. Oh, okay. Uh, can um, you th uh, you see there are three bunks in this room. Uh, like the the two two to the left of you are kind of like bunk beds. And one of them is wet with ale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, the, the, one, the, bo up. the bottom one got wet with the ale, and that was that was the uh, second guy. That was the second guy who died's bed. That was got really angry at you for getting his bed wet. <laughs> like he, he thinks he, he, he thinks that all the other bandits will think bad of him, thinking that he pissed his bed. <laughs> but on each bed is a scarlet cloak. One of them covered in I, ale. I, I was gonna ask, can one. we loot them for their outfits? Uh. If you'd want to, uh, but uh, the only thing is that the, the, what they have on is armor, like their basic armor and the scarlet cloaks. Um, is this the end of the the fight encounter? Yeah, this is the end of this encounter. Okay. Uh, can I run real quick? Yeah, sure. Like IRL. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, they Sorry. Are going to, it's fine. While they're gone, does anybody else want to do anything? Well, I'm grabbing one of the cloaks and throwing it on. Okay. Yeah. Um, same. Can somebody Zinrus roll? Gets the ale one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Koji deserves the ale one because he's the one that got it soaked. Yeah, Can but Zinrus take the one off it. the other guy. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, you know. He's already tied up. Uh, Kiwi, you can take it off one of the dead bodies. You can take it off the guy who's tied up. Your choice. I'm gonna take it off a dead body. As you take it off the dead body, you see a small uh, pouch around his belt. No, I shouldn't. He's dead. Alright, fine. Nope. Now I'm curious. Now I have to know. Okay, when you look inside of it, you find 16 silver pieces and 7 gold. I believe it. If someone else takes it, someone else takes it. But I leave it. <laughs> I'm alright. Oh I'm man, these are it. bandits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't yeah. have respect. Yeah, but if they had some other cool shit, I would have maybe taken it. But okay. I'll throw it's it just in money that I don't care. I'm I'll also gonna in run. Actually, uh, yeah, I just okay. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna say it like this. Um, are you looting all three of them? Me? Yeah, you're gonna look at all three of them because they each have a little belt pouch. All right, fine. The second one has seven silver and five gold, and the third one has fifteen electrum. This is not Ew. me joking around. I will. This is not me joking around. What was I'm the going first to. One? Uh, the first one was uh, sixteen silver, seven gold. Wait, you know what? <laughs> oh. You can just throw them in the satchel, and then we can. Like, uh, Zelandra, they are all the humans. Uh, for proof, I sent a screenshot showing that it actually says 15 EP. EP. You can just throw it in the right, satchel. You know what? Can, like... I'm gonna... Also, Which one uh, had the most? Uh, technically, uh, the, the first one that you looted. Also... I'm gonna take some of the gold from the first one and put it in the one with the Electrum. <laughs> also, in the one that you got the Electrum from, you find two pieces of garnet. Garnet. Ooh. What's garnet? It's like a stone. Claw. It's like a oh. gemstone. You know, it's I'll take a gemstone that. that you can. Uh, it's not expensive enough, but I'll allow it for the time being to be your homunculus. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Well, You're I said. Take garnet. I'll say there's two. There's yep. two garnets. Uh, valued at <laughs> about ten gold pieces. I'm taking at least one garnet. 
I'll say so. Uh, you can have them. Unless say... somebody else wants the other garnet. <laughs> you can have them both. I don't really care. All right, I'll take them both. Then. I don't know if you're good with if you if you are if you can know how to use a jeweler's kit, you could make some pretty swank jewelry. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> I, I, I know how to use a herbalism kit. I do not think I've ever All seen right. anybody take a jeweler's kit. I'm done looting bodies now. Yeah, that's all you so find you on them, to... and that's all you okay. find in the room. I'm the also gonna be our very quickly. Yeah. I'll say, do you want to just like put? Do you want the? Do you want the waterproof satchel to be the money satchel? Yeah, that's what I was gonna I do. As well, yeah. I was just gonna stuff it in my bag and have it have the money be in there. Okay. Not me using a um, calculator to find out 16 plus 7. <laughs> uh, Zalandra, when do you think you'll be back? Hmm? is still typing in chat because they know what we can get. Uh, okay, so for anybody, uh, the barrels inside this room is the same as the barrels in the outside room. You, you find only a bunch of, like, dried, uh, like, salted meats and, uh, apples. And ale. Apple. Ale? <laughs> you know what, uh, uh, Zinvis, if you want to take the ale, I say in this room alone you find, uh, I'd say you find ten bottles of ale in that room alone. Ten bottles. Got it. <laughs> no. Hit you with a newspaper. And, uh, in the outside room, counting the one you took and the one Kiwi broke, you find another seven. I return us. In real life, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I put so it yeah, as that's what I was overall, like, um... you find overall you can add um sixteen about not yeah fifteen bottles of it fifteen more bottles of ale to your inventory. Oh my god! So sixteen total kind of thing. Yeah, sixteen total. Got it. <laughs> We're creating. Can that. I, <laughs> uh, Zilandra, I'll say uh, if I, you guys want to do that, I it's just doing it at the end of the uh, dungeon. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like a. Uh return the food or mention it mention the location oh there's we're returning the food to the people uh olive's totally not taking all the ale for herself totally not <laughs> we can take like a barrel okay. of it for ourselves i'm gonna i'm just gonna take her word for it and say she's returning to the people I'm gonna be gullible. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> okay. I don't believe you, but after seeing what you did last night. Yeah. Oh, I don't believe her in real life, but I'm gonna allow my character to believe her. <laughs> See, we no trust Olive. <laughs> yeah. I know what there isn't to trust. Uh, let him be beat up for now. Oh, if anybody wondering, uh, Zolandria is, ty is typing in the chat. Yeah. In the Discord chat or the chat chat? Discord chat. Okay. I don't think he'll die from it. Probably not. I, uh, if you want to stabilize him, you can, but you I won't even make you roll for that because he's not a friendly guy. Yeah, I'll <laughs> do that then. Yeah, yeah, you stabilize me. He, he, he's still unconscious, but I'll say he has like one HP. Yeah, we're gonna interrogate them after we get out of here. We tie him up. Oh yeah, he's tied up. Yeah, I, I did. Oh, okay, he's already tied. Okay, good. I was like, and wait a minute. I'm, I'll move one of the barrels in front of the door so that even if he escapes the ropes, we'll have a harder time getting out anyway. Mm hmm. Makes sense. To warn the others, and then I'll move on. It's um. Hmm. I mean, we can interrogate him, but. I mean, it's up to you guys. <laughs> My character just won't really care about interrogating. <clears throat> I'm not totally bothered by having a surprise. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should maybe interrogate him. All right. Then we'll do that, then. But then again, I'm not very threatening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll have two threatening people standing next to you, so it'll be... There we go. It'll be yeah, threatening just... osmosis. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll just kind of like so, loom right over and stuff like that. Have um, freaking, I don't know, Zinris uh, snarling or something, <laughs> growling. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna play the good guy first and say, don't be alarmed. I'm just gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, slap him. He, he'll wake up if you slap him. What? Oh my god. I have to, okay. No, you don't need a roll to hit. You can just slap him. I can do that. If you do want. I have to do an unarmed strike for no, that? No, you do not. <laughs> Alright, fine. I, I'll slap him. Okay. Don't be alarmed, I'm just gonna ask you some questions. He first um, wakes up, sees you guys wearing the uh, cloak, saying, Oh, you guys are pretty cool. Huh. Why, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we do look pretty swanky. You sure you don't want to join the Red Brands? Not a chance. He just crosses our arms, look, giving him, like, a glare. <laughs> oh, worth a shot. Well, you're gonna tell us where the Red you just said it, oh my god. Red Brands. <laughs> red brand. The Red Brands base of operations. He looks you Whether we join in the or eyes. Not. You, sir, are a dumbass. And, Where uh, do you think you are right now? Well, okay. That's fair, Look at the top but... of the screen. <laughs> oh, hey, it does uh... say Red Brand hideout, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, maybe. I just thought this led to the hideout. Okay. No, this is the they hideout. Said, they said that in character. Oh, there, you have a chance to not be like that. How about you open that before we do it for you? Uh, does anybody share a intimidation with um, Aintra? Or can Aintra roll it for me? Uh, um, I have a plus two. I yeah, I have a plus one. I have a plus zero. Uh, they rolled a fifteen. Um. Uh. Okay. Okay. I can do the help action on that. Uh. He. Oh no. He is. He. He is a little friend. Like you did just murder his two like best buddies. <laughs> you, you didn't have to kill Billy or. Uh, uh. Jim. Yeah, Jim. That was his name. Definitely. Yeah, Jim. <laughs> you didn't need to kill them. They. They have families too. You forgot his. His own friend's name. Well, but Bill, Billy was nicer to me, okay? The first one that died was Billy. Yeah, second one was Jim. The guy. It's like, the Jim, Jim, like, he. He would prank me all the time, like, put, put my hand in warm water, make me. Make me, make, make me piss myself, you know? That explains a whole lot. <laughs> I say in character. Well, and well, as I he... look over at the bed. You see, we don't want to know about your personal relationship. We want to know about what's going on deeper in. I mean, you don't want the rest of your buddies to go out like these two, do you? Oh, these were like the only two I really liked, and uh, and Glassstaff. Glassstaff. Oh, uh, you, you, you didn't know Glassstaff's our leader. Did 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 you really just go on a head on assault without knowing who who was in charge of us? No, we knew. We just. Testing how much you knew. Roll me a deception. Roll deception. <laughs> hey, I'm the DM here. <laughs> I'm the DM here, not you. I just I heard it. Oh. Seventeen. Oh uh, yeah, it's only an eleven. Ooh, he believes yeah. you. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. He's definitely like stumbling over his words. He does not know how to respond to that. There's. Seeing what you do. <laughs> well, um, yeah, what, what do you want to know? Exactly, like, uh, Glassstaff, a boss, he's a very powerful wizard. I'm sure he is. He, 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 he could kill any of us easily. How many are deeper in? Um,. Uh, yeah, I'll still count this as the original intimidation. About uh, six other six other bandits. Well, that'll be easy. 
13 total then. And how likely do you think they'd be to surrender? Oh no, they <laughs> they will they will they they want to bring your head to glass staff. They want to they want to become the second in command. Hmm. I'm sure Glassstaff hmm. wants a more powerful second in command. Which one was it that you didn't like that's laying on the floor here? Uh, oh, uh, Jim, he, he... He he just pranked me a lot. Like, I didn't want him dead, but... He was kind of a dick. <laughs> okay, got you. Can... Okay, to, to, uh, Elite. Yeah, what's up? Can... Can I... Posture? Oh... <laughs> <laughs> Can I potter Jim onto my spear and us use him as a parading flag to intimidate the others as we go deeper in? <laughs> okay, if you are okay, 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 if you are to do this, I will one need you to make a strength check in every room we enter because Jim's not a tiny man. <laughs> that's the only reason his cloak really. That's the only reason his spare cloak fit around sta uh, around moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> um and two I'm are, okay any, with that. <laughs> are, are any of you opposed to this i certainly am not <laughs> not particularly like i'm fine with this but i said every room you're gonna have to make a strength check he's just gonna plop off <laughs> i'm gonna allow for it <laughs> i mean i was kind of gonna go the route of like uh being the new dude in town and showing off to the others <laughs> well well, you want to carry him? <laughs> I mean, I'm just... Would they I recognize mean... it as Jim? They would not it's recognize fine. it exactly as Jim, but they would recognize it as one of their people. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that kinda... that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for them to back off until we get to the leader. Wait, question. Did one of you take Jim's cloak? Pretty sure I was. You said I was. No, you, uh, you took the you took the spare one that was on his bed. Uh, I'm gonna say I took the other guys. Yeah. See. So uh. So you took Bills. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. So he he, yeah, he still looks he still looks like a red brand. Because my idea is um intimidate everyone to stand down, walk him forward until he gets to the head. And then we just take over the establishment and then uh, disseminate them. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking like uh, we, since we have the cloaks, we could like act like we're new members and, you know. I mean, it, I mean, yeah, we could do it that way too. Either way, I definitely... see them well, would... taking over and getting a personal army to take on a uh, Cragmar Castle. Why would we be carrying the entire body if we could, like, I don't know, like, uh, cut it in half or something and still have the cloak so then it's or lighter? Or just, like, decapitate him <laughs> like you always yeah, do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you wanted to say it. I was just helping you there. I mean, actually, if you chop him at the waist, we could still ma uh, make our message. Um, yeah, exactly. It's just going to be a little lighter. It'll be, it'll be an easier strength check for me. Mm-hmm. What is, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Why is Koji the only non-murder hobo? I'm not talking about murder. I'm talking about... I mean, technically this is sodomy. <laughs> you know what? We're not getting into that on stream, <laughs> Kiwi. I'm talking about disguising as red brands so we can... No, you are the normal one that. here. No, you're the normal. You and Cordy are the normal ones here. I mean, like in the first combat, you were bloodthirsty. Well, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I, I'm going along with a specific. Cordy is not I opposed feel. to it if they can, since he can't feel it. At and you point. guys are once we get to Glassglow was the guy's name. Glass doll. Staff. Glass glass staff. Yeah. Glass staff. <laughs> okay. So. Once, once we get to the last step, you'll will. see why I'm doing this. <laughs> I figure they'll stand down if we can defeat Glass Staff. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. As they said, the Glass Staff's a lot stronger than they are. I mean, I'm thinking, like, walk up to him, like, stand down to us. 
or join your friend while delightfully pointing at our new flag. Yeah, I'm just thinking like, uh, might be a little easier if we're, we look like them. But so, none of us are human. To the closest to... one is the no. <laughs> yeah, but hey, like... he's made a wrong... I mean, my armor <laughs> does cover up most of my features. You don't have to be human to join. Yeah. But aren't they? Too. Aren't you all human? <laughs> well, yeah, but like we 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 have actually we have like more sex like. We, we, we have a group up in Netherlands. Sex. No, S E C T S. No. Sex. No. Not sex. Damn, I'm joining. Oh, no. I... <laughs> My mind went there too, but I didn't know what, what to say. You I thought wrong. you were going to oh go into God. gender for a minute. I was like, uh. You no. were the only one that heard it correctly. Uh... Yeah, the the branch up in Neverwinter has a has a couple of gnomes and a and a dra and like a dragonborn leader up there. Are you okay, helping? Okay, I might want to rethink this. Uh, you will kill me if I don't, right? Pretty much. Fair point. He has a point. Maybe, maybe if you let me live, like, if you let me live instead, like I will, I'll, I will, I'll give up the life of crime. I'll, I'll see if I'll, I'll see if they'll let me move into Fandel. That's up to them, not not me. Well, I know. I'm just, I'm just saying. Maybe. I'm... I... Corgi would allow no for it. It's up to you guys what to do after. I say Corgi would allow this. I'm sure they'd probably be pretty intimidated if we beat the guy who they think is way stronger than them. So, I'm sure we could get them to stand down if we... I mean, we're thing. nonetheless going You're for the leader at this pretty point. good. Uh, <laughs> Robert, yeah. Robert's been Robert's done a tiny bit of trolling. It's just the matter of approach. Um, because uh, him yeah. saying do that. Do we want to uh, go loud and proud, uh, or I'm, do I'm, we I'm want to go? Him, I'm gonna make him say something for them. Can, uh, can we moonlight. run an insight? Can we mm -hmm. run an insight on what he said? Uh, one second. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. But moonlight. As you're saying this, you you hear you hear a voice in your head. Hey, uh, hey, how you doing? Oh. Though you you alive down there? Shut up, Ray. <laughs> also, Bomber Steve, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the hideaway. Ooh. Ooh. I forgot his, if his name was like Randy or fucking. Well, how do you forget Robert's name already? <laughs> it's Robert. It's Robert, yes, yeah, Robert. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you just gotta hear that in the back of your head. <laughs> Shut up, Robert. <laughs> Robert's sad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, yeah, did he... I hear Robert? No, it was, it was just yeah. Moonlight who heard him. Does, uh... No, no, but, but no, he, he said shut up, Robert, out loud. Yeah. I muttered it. Oh, what? Does the, hey, uh... Grandmaster Probot, thanks for the follow. Does the guy we're intimidating hear that? No, it's literally just Moonlight who hears it. No, I know only Moonlight hears, um, Robert. I meant does, uh, the guy we're intimidating hear Moonlight? <laughs> hear me muttering? Yeah, he, 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 he hears Moonlight, and, uh... Is your friend okay back there? Like, he kind of, like, points at him with his head. Then just, like, takes one look at, like, Moonlight and's like, the shugs. Yeah. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream, Kaze. <sighs> just annoying people with magic. <laughs> and I still want to run insight on what he said about, um, the faction up in Neverwinter. Yeah, sure. Because I have no idea if he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, sure. Twelve. You believe him. <laughs> you have no idea why I'm laughing. <laughs> you have no idea. So, are we going loud and proud? Oh or yeah. Well, hey, them? thanks for stopping by, Bomb. What's your guys' uh, take? Makes me actually really happy to have uh, views from other parts of the I'm world. I'm cold now. But, uh, yeah, I really hope you're feeling better. My options Did we go loud and proud or more Did like we already fight? cut up the body or whatever? Oh my god. No. Please, <laughs> I, I, I cannot say do not do that because that would be me interjecting myself too much, but please don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, I think the infiltration your, route is a little... Your DM is, like, asking you nicely. <laughs> it's a little bit more sane, you see. Alright, then I think we do a more... 
stealthy okay. operation or something. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Korgi. I'm sure we can convince them we're like transfers or something. Korgi. Yeah. In your head, you you hear you hear the faint voice of Robert, <laughs> and he <laughs> and, and you hear him say, hey, "Remember to be sure to cook your meat to medium rare." Uh, I I tacked Robert uh, for a well done type of person. He seems like mm -hmm. the kind of asshole. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, I like my no, meat. I, I like my meat well done. Wait, 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 what's wrong with well done? I hey, like Mitch. well done. Cry about you, it. We will ah, fight, no, 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 no. Yeah. We will, no, we will fight about this after the session. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm sure we will. Oh, uh, imagine. Need to like, wait well on the done. well done scene. Don't you dare, what? don't you dare wait, make, wait, don't you dare Alan? make me give you the, no, wait, wait. <laughs> don't you dare make me give you the, not, the no John card. The, no, I just said the wrong, the Don John card. I will. The ex excuse me, what? Oh, you'll see in homebrew, baby. <laughs> oh, uh, no. No, we won't. I'm not touching that thing with a 30 foot pole. Oh, no one, <laughs> no one wants to touch my favorite. No one wants to see. No one wants to touch my favorite magic what? item. To do we're what? Not, we're not doing we're that. Wait, to do no the one last one. one. Well no done one or not well done? Well, he doesn't. As a sushi a lot of slash. Um, Kiwi's basically a quarter vegetarian. pounder guy. I'm gonna have to say medium rare. Um, like basically, the only meat Based. he eats is Based. chicken. Based. The only meat this man eats is chicken nuggets, <laughs> McDonald's quarter pounders, and fish. Yeah, that's pretty That's accurate. all well done. Based in red build. Anyway, he's basically yeah, the he, McDonald's he, one's debatable. No, I no I no, or the quarter pounder one. I no, say. the McDonald's that he works at, I've never gotten a really good, well done burger from. I'm gonna. How? What is wrong with them? Uh, what? I've never in, heard of that. He lives in hippie I've territory. Never seen that. <laughs> that oh is my true. god! This, that is you true. said this was like a way out. That, that, yeah, that that looks like a, that like when you open the door, it leads to a stairway up. I'm gonna knock yeah. on the walls a bit. <laughs> Wait, what's this oh, here? Boy. What's uh, this here? That okay? So the little, the little white icons are doors. Okay, oh, that's so that's a door going, going up. Oh, it's just a door that leads somewhere else. Also, what's our approach? What's our plan? Oh, we yeah. said stealthy. Stealthy. Yeah, we're, okay, we're so not we're going in the uniforms. bold route. <laughs> <laughs> the cloaks and. Okay, can we just all, all say that we're in uniform? Yeah, you mm -hmm. all, no, yeah. you all you all kind of got the uniforms on you. I said Jim was a little bigger, so like you were able to get his cloak off of his dead body and his spare one for Moonlight and uh, Zenus. Okay. Okay. Before I okay. leave, I, I just I got asked him one last question. Oh uh, yes, what is it? I, Do you I am know Robert. <laughs> oh Robert, yeah, that guy was there. Yeah, it's it's sad that he died about ten years ago though. Right. <laughs> right. Deserved it. Right. right. I was just I was wondering. I was wondering. We're the Robert Hater Guild. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you you hear you hear uh, you hear some pig, you hear some pig and cow sounds. Uh, moonlight. <laughs> I see. And you hear the you hear the, dis no. you, you hear the distant sound of a shotgun being fired. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This is D and D a blunderbuss. Okay, I'm Got gonna it. go through this doorway. I guess that's not a doorway. Which that's one? a wall. Which you said one? the white icon was like a door. Yeah, but you're on top. You're above it. Oh, yeah. okay. I've... Shut yeah. up. Yeah, now you can go through the door. <laughs> I was a little confused. Now you can go through the door. I'm a little confused, but I got the spirit. Okay. I'll go can I just... Door, then. Can okay. I check this fountain while he's going in? Uh, yeah, if you want. But, uh, first, I let me... Okay, let me, let me, uh, let me take care of the rest of the party first quickly, uh, uh, Selka. So, as you enter the room, it's... There's a thick dust over the... Over the stone hallway. The walls are decorated with columns every ten feet. And double doors at the west end of the hall are uh, sheathed with a copper plate, now green with age. It, yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, we can unsheath it, probably, right? Well, yeah, you can open doors. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I figured we can open doors. <laughs> I would hope you could. If you couldn't, that'd be a problem. <laughs> oh, right. Toss a torch down the hallway just to check for traps. Uh, can you point exactly where you want the torch to hit? 
Uh, like around here. Between nothing the two. Uh, brothers. Nothing happens. Hmm. I'll move so you can get in the room also. Make room. <laughs> Make way. Okay, let me just quickly do uh, Selka's thing. Uh, Selka, when you're hovering over the water, it goes about 10 feet deep, but you see nothing else in it. So, oh, okay. I just wanted to check to see if we missed something, because we didn't really, like, search through it entirely. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, so I'll, I'll just catch up. Alright, I'm going to start down the hall. Okay. Roll me an acrobatics check. <laughs> yeah, which one? <laughs> Both of you. Okay. You stepped on it at the oh, same boy. time. Oh, net one. Oh no. I uh -oh. got an eleven. Oh no. You both It'll fall. Fun. You both fall into a twenty-foot pit. It'll be fine. Oh, oh boy. Uh, Can I? Moonlight, you take six. Because I have a climbing speed due to them. Uh. You know what? I will make it so you only take uh, a little bit of damage because I would uh, you would have to. Uh, I would. I'll make it so you only take the one d six instead of the two d six. Then. Okay. That's four damage for you. Four damage. And Corgi, you take three damage. Damn. <clears throat> Man. Does Corgi have any clear way of getting out as a character? Uh, you, got, you guys have rope hey. and a cat. <laughs> I'm gonna use preserve life and heal him for um, three, and heal myself for seven. Oh, that's a healing spell. It's my uh, channel divinity. Oh, cool. Yeah. Orgy, how much that's... do you weigh? Uh, ninety-six pounds, if I remember correctly. Yeah. The, so oh. you wanna know why the torch didn't activate it? <laughs> Had to be at least 100 pounds, or the two of you stepping on top of it, it was way over 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that'd Damn. do it. Anyway, uh -huh. uh, hand me one under your rope and I'll climb up. Oh, I could, like, pop down and then fly him out. I mean, either way, it doesn't really matter. How you want to do it down there. And uh, for our two characters who are still up top, you see there's a little ledge you can just kind of shimmy across to get over. Still left okay. over. Okay. But I yeah. will still need an acrobatics check from both of you when you do that. Who I, am I, I kidding? I need an acrobatics check from Zinris. <laughs> I was about to say, I, I, I am free! Yeah, so you're 20. Like, 20, yeah, you make it across. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to climb up on the other side. <laughs> hey, Gorgi down there, you, you want a rope or you want me to fly you up? Uh, I'm going to say fly me up. Fly up? Beam me okay. up, Scotty. <laughs> Okay. So I drop down. I I, ho I hover down. I, I'm not gonna say I drop. <laughs> I, 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 I'm afraid you're gonna get me with something on my sign tax. Oh, no, um, no. I try to grab him from under his arms and lift him up and try to uh, back up. Yeah, you get back up. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay, then we should be good. And let's push open these doors. Okay, you push it. They are really hard to get open. They like the doors almost like feels like they're rusted shut, but you do get them open. Hmm. Coffins. Okay. Heron. I'm gonna leave those alone. Okay. You guys feel Come free on. to check them if you want. Come on, no kleptomaniacs. No I, I respect uh... the dead. Come on, I no, don't no, think no, I want to. Kleptomaniacs? I'm a cleric. No, not really. Yeah, you're a good uh... person, the best aren't. What do you need? <laughs> Does anyone have detect magic or detect uh, dead? I will say this quickly, though. So as you enter the room, you see three large stone sarcophagi standing within, within this dusty crypt. And probably against each of them is a human skeleton. Oh, yeah, no, they're not inside. They are on top of them, the skeletons. 
Mm. Uh, uh. In rusty mail, there are columns across against the walls, um, and carved into the walls are sp are images of spreading oak trees. That's rather specific. Okay. Anything I can do with the oak trees? Oh. No. Okay. I mean, you guys can feel free to open them if you want, but. Well, like I said, they're not. They're not. They're not on. Like they're not in them. They're on, they're like leaning against the sarcophagi. <clears throat> I don't. I really gonna, don't know if I want it. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Should I examine the sarcophagi without like touching it? You can. You can also look at up the. Yes, yeah, so you can examine the sarcophagus. You can examine the skeletons. Up to you, my man. Yeah, I'll examine anything I can. I guess the sarcophagi first. Okay. Uh. So you open. Okay. So you examine it. Well, it I don't like, want to open okay, it. Okay. You examine it. You. Can, it looks like you can open it pretty easily. Um. I'm not even gonna make a little investigation for that. Yeah, it just looks like you can open it. Nothing All right, special. So there's no no symbols or anything. No okay. symbols on them. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. have this door over here. Okay, you're gonna open it up. Sure. Okay, as you open the door. I hate how fog of war only works half the time. Okay, so you open the door. Hello there. Uh, you see the ruffian in the top say, Oh, finally! Replacements! I'm exhausted! Oh, that's right. We're all in armor, right? Or uniform. I yeah, we're in, mm -hmm. we're in disguise. <laughs> I thought are, another are you, are you guys new? I've never seen you before. Yeah, we're new transfers from a different sect. Okay, roll me deception with advantage. All of us? Uh, or just no, just him. Moonlight. I 17. think that's a good bet. Seventeen? Yeah, they uh, yeah, they, uh, yeah, yeah, they'll uh, uh, but, yeah. So, are you, are you guys here to relieve us of the duty so we can go sleep? Yeah, yeah. you can go ahead. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, go ahead. Uh, kinda, can you... they just kind of fuck yeah, off. Yeah, here. Can you pass me the keys? <laughs> yeah, he hands you the keys. Yeah, they, like I said, they, they just kind of fuck off. All right, uh, block block them from exiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Block them from wait, exiting. Wait, wait, wait. We're putting them in the cells. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. With the three civilians? No, we're letting the civilians out. Okay, roll no, initiative then. Them. So roll we... initiative, alright. Wait, can we. Stealthily... I didn't set up combat for this! <laughs> wait, can we stealthily restrain them while their guard is down? You know what? Um. Like each tag of you, team two, uh, two on for each one. Two of you can roll advantage in a strength contest with against one each. Okay, I can do You're strength. I can do strength. I I can do strength. Well, yeah, it would be an athletics check actually for a grapple. Oh, I could definitely do athletics. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I could do athletics. So then, uh, okay. I guess it'll be you two, and just uh, you get advantage. I got 16. So this is the one that uh, Simpsons is against. Uh, how much did you get? I got 16 for uh, uh, athletics. Athletics, 16. And he got a, ooh, a 17. You grapple him. No! Wait, you, you, wait, what'd you say, 17? I got 16. 16, yeah, you grapple him. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, Sioka. 22. Yeah, he can't beat that guy, too. You grapple both of them. Yeah, I'm gonna unlock the cells. The uh, the, th well, the th three girls leave. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them to head down and then to the <clears throat> right, and there should be an exit there. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, what? Uh, I'm leading them to this exit, basically. Uh. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. You're telling the girl. Okay. Let's see. So, unless you'd rather them go past the Nothic, one of them falls in the pit and takes oh five damage, dying on impact. Oh my god! Ah. <laughs> I will allow you to choose which one of the three die and which two get out. 
You you Eeny, didn't even think to, to talk mo. to them yes, as like as a wooding were what was going <laughs> on. You're just like directly yeah, like down said, uh, to die. You can either kill uh what do you want their names before you decide which one dies? Yes. So the one on the left is Myrna, the one in the middle is Nars, and the one on the right is Nilsa. No is last what? names? No last names. Which one's dying? No, what's the last one's name? Uh Nilsa. N I L S A. Heard milf <laughs> I thought it was Elsa. <laughs> yeah, I, thought Elsa. <laughs> I was like, let her go. <laughs> I kind of don't like the middle one. So that that's the one that you that you have decided gets to die. <laughs> God, sure. Let's. let's you let should have talked to them first. <laughs> yeah, just give me one second. I got because these are because you guys did not talk to them. Yeah, I do gotta get them on the token page because they will they will be showing up again. <laughs> so Norris oh is dead. <laughs> okay. I mean, probably should have warned them about that, but. Oh, I I, I rolled I it. I, I rolled it. To them. I rolled it. <laughs> I, uh, since they just have the commoner stat block. Ah. Two of them passed, and the other one got a one. <laughs> You'd love to see it. Oh. So yeah, they're, they're trop- Uh, yeah, so this woman's traumatized. One of her daughters is dead now. Sucks Damn. to be hurt. But uh, yeah, you locked those oh, guys in the room. God. Yep, they're staying in that cell. Okay. They're, they're, banging, against the, they're banging against the bars, but they, yeah, no one can hear them. Alright, well. It's gonna, like- Leave the room. Is a statue oh, there? Where's Cross at? There? Is that a statue I didn't mean to draw, but. Uh, let me see if it specifies. This kind of looks like a statue. It's a pile of clothes. Oh. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well, have fun in there, you two. <laughs> Wait, I asked them both, like, one of you. Where's Crowstaff? Who? Glassstaff, you Glass mean? Glassstaff. Glassstaff. Oh, gl gl uh, Glassstaff is in his personal quarters. It's you can't miss it. It's okay, bye. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he's quite stupid. He was literally just fooled and told you exactly where his boss was. Yeah. Well, uh, let's head in. Before you got, uh, as you guys like leave the room, you can just hear the other one slap him in the face. <laughs> Nice. God. What a clown. A fool. An idiot. A buffoon. Okay. Yes, yeah, takes one to no one. Uh... No offense. Uh, no, wait, the, the one that just got slapped, you hear him all say, I, Wait, I have one more bit of information. <laughs> Don't leave me here. <laughs> Listening. Anyway, just... I will give you this information. For one apple. <laughs> Does anyone have any apples on them? Or any food? I do not want to starve. Oh, um, who, who, who has food on them? Do I have I'll food? Everyone has rations. I'll, yeah, I'll I'm the one that answered. Even some walnuts. I'm just hungry. They don't feed me enough. I would go over there and throw him a ration. At hearing that. Yeah. Mm. If Zell isn't going to, <laughs> yeah, he uh, he eats I, I was it very willing. Quickly. I was willing. I was like, willing. Like he scarfs it down. I'm gonna head uh, into this area. Uh, okay. Why are you doing that? Uh, so Ma what did you have uh, to Ma say? Master Glassstaff has a uh, he, ha he has a uh, familiar. It's 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 a, it's a little mouse. It, it sits outside his room, uh, guarding it for intruders the entire day. Uh, okay. Weapons room. His room. Can I roll insight? Yeah, you can roll insight. Twenty. Yeah, he's telling the truth. Like he he does not seem like he's lying at all. Okay. Okay, okay. and for you, Moonlight, you walk through a room. There's racks of weapons all lined up. You see spears, swords, crossbows, and bolts, and a dozen or so red cloaks hanging from hooks by the door. To be more specific, there are 12 spears, 6 short swords, 
four long swords, six light crossbows, and eight quivers holding 20 crossbow bolts each. So anyone need fresh cloak? I zoned out for a second. I'm I sorry. Don't think I, I feel do. I feel like an asshole now. It's fine. You're good. It's fine. Uh, what, do you, what what was the last thing you, you remember hearing? I, I heard you start the list, and I don't. Okay, 12 spears, 6 short swords, 4 long swords, 6 light crossbows, and 8 quivers, holding 20 air bolts, bolts each. So you can walk out of here with, uh... Yeah, I would have to walk over there before I could 160 bolts. No, I said we're not keeping track of Yeah, we're ammo. not. You're where we really are. Like, if you, I say the way I would do it is if you want to keep track of ammo, you can. It's up to the player. Until you get a gun. <laughs> I'm going to take one of the cloaks and hang it on the doorknob to okay. mark it. Okay. You guys don't need to worry about dying. Someone will be here for you eventually. Yeah, and his name's up. Robert. <laughs> None of you hear this. None of you hear this. The ruffian that slapped the other guy heard it. <laughs> mm. Right. Does he mutter okay, something no. too? <laughs> he mutters. I, I thought you were dead, father. Hey, <laughs> Corgi, huh. so did, did you guys find anything here, in there? Right. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's found a, trap. a whole bunch of weapons. No, oh, and also, okay. I'm gonna go check I got it you. Out. There you go. Actually, it's smaller than that. It, it's it's specifically. Wait, how do I highlight it? It's the two by two. Oh, it's a two by two. Yeah, it's a two by two. Okay. Yeah, do, do you see the uh, do you see the red? If you delete your thing, do you see the red dial line around it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you only uh, did it for these two. No, the entire thing pitfalled when it happened. Uh, good enough. Alright, so... So, is there a spear here that's better than the one I got? No, but there's eight. No, but there's eight. Screw it, I'm grabbing a spear. You grabbing another one? Yeah, I might as well grab one, put it on my back. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. gonna... Take a running jump over this. Okay, roll me a uh, acrobatics check then. That's just a leap. Oh yeah, you can leap a certain distance. If you do a long jump, when you do a long jump, you can cover a I number of feet up to your so strength much. score. I hate that math so much, it's so annoying. So I, I can jump 14 feet. Nice. Um, Given that he's how tall? Seven foot. Seven foot Seven. tall. I doubt seven he's jumping. I doubt he's jumping seven feet in the air. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm saying like um, in realistic physics terms, he'd be able to actually jump twelve feet. Mm hmm. Hmm. Doesn't matter. The pit's only ten. Yeah, the pit's only ten yeah. feet long. Yeah, I think we need to backtrack though. Unless that's a fake wall. Where? Zinera, so you need to carry over? Up there. Maybe it is. Uh, I don't. Like I said, Lou, it's, it's, it's up to you guys to decide if you want to try breaking down walls or not. Mm. I guess since I'm still up there, apparently I'll knock on the wall. Well, I've already jumped over, so. Roll me, uh, roll me to hit. Roll me at. Just, just, you know, you can even punch it if you want to. Just roll me a hit. <laughs> I think he was just knocking on it. Well, well, yeah, knocking on, like, well, knocking on, on to it. figure out if it's hollow. <laughs> so just roll my two hit for an unarmed strike. Yeah, sure. What? I got a fifteen. Right. A fifteen? Yeah, no, that wall just crumbles. Ah, uh, okay. Guess I'm jumping back over. Wait, he? Yep. We don't know yet. Jumping? Only he knows. He uh, has to catch up to us. I try to get their attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'd probably get our attention. After. I say, yeah, I, I'd say after a little, like, after a couple seconds, they will hear you. I say, hey, hey, guys, I found something. Yeah. 
okay, George. We run him back. I'll say, question, does anybody need any refreshers on what we have been told by these guys? Um, I need to go to the personal quarters, which is realistically probably... Probably somewhere here up. Or here. And it's guarded by a mouse. Yes. Yeah. Who will tell the <laughs> master if it senses somebody. Well, if it sees somebody. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, but I said that wall. Uh, yeah, that wall's gone. <laughs> and the master's a wizard. I'm Name sure he. Staff. I'm sure he'd probably notice if his familiar fucking died. Probably. Maybe. So, uh, Koji, uh... as we walk in, uh, this is on the north end of the cave. Um, okay. It has finished. It's finished with a dressed stone block walls and flagstone floor. Several barrels are stored against the wall, along with a number of empty crates, straw for packing, hammers, pry, balls and bar pry bars, and nails. The cavern continues for some distance to the south. You can make out several passages that open up off the larger cavern in what looks to be a deep pit or crevice in the floor. You know, the room you were in earlier. <laughs> yeah, I figure we're going to have to go across <laughs> that okay. other bridge now. I, uh, I want to probably take some of the nails and stuff. Okay. And probably search some of the crates. Okay. Yeah, we can probably fashion like a. So, question. Can we Where'd still see this one? We need it. <laughs> can you still see the Nothic? Yes, can we, can we see him from here? <laughs> when you guys get in that room, it's almost um... like he has a second sense and he just turns around and is staring you down, Silka. Oh, boy. <laughs> Um, that's concerning. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. But I'm gonna keep stealing stuff anyway. <laughs> okay, um, in the barrels you find- Potentially. Um, in the barrels you find 30 beaver pelts. What? Valued oh. at about two gold pieces each. Oh my goodness. So, uh, can I make cool stuff out of beaver pelts? Probably. You, probably not. Clothing. I mean, coonskin yeah. cap. But I'm like a... So... You could sell it, that's like 60 gold. I don't care to take it then. <laughs> also, you said there was like something on the floor to examine. Or um, the walls. Uh, yeah, sure. Roll me an investigation check. I'm gonna flap flap over while staring at the Nalfic. I got a 12. You got a 12? Yep. 9 plus 3. Kiwi. Yeah. You look at the walls. Mm hmm. And it looks like one of them is slightly indented. To be more precise, this one. Which one? Ooh. That one. Uh, indented wall. It's an indented In wall. Can I push on it or something, or pull on it? On it? Okay. As what you do push, I? Flapping, flapping. As you push on it, a door opens. Guys, where are you? Okay. Hey, Kiri, I found another. I said door. nothing about investigating a wall. Wait, really? <laughs> no, I was hoping you would say something. I was I'm like, the entire time I'm like, oh, please, please, somebody, somebody, get this oh hidden doorway. Oh my gosh. Me going. All Let's right. go. Uh, Wait, you guys found a way in? Down we go, I guess. Like, that entire time, I was hoping one of you would find it. <laughs> I, You said something was on the floors or on the Oh, yeah, no, on the floors was a bunch of nails. Oh. And I stole the nails. Yep. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, yes! So, uh, Kiwi, you gonna open up that, uh, who's opening up that door? Um, I suppose I am. Since I've been opening the doors thus far. So, yeah. Whoever yeah. opens the door. <clears throat> oh, boy. When the door, when the room first opens... You see the okay. walls of this bedchamber are covered with drapes of scarlet cloth. The furnishings oh. including a small writing desk with a matching chair, a comfortable looking bed, and a wooden chest at the foot of the bed. Sitting 
At the desk is a short, dark bearded human male in robes. Studying a tome, he wears a princely mantle of ermine, or ermine. A beautiful glass staff leans against this chair with an easy reach. Uh. Hey, you all want to stealth grab him? Yeah, that's probably the best bet. Okay. But we're not exactly stealthy. The door just opened. You can yeah. open the door quietly. No, he didn't hear it. He, he's too he's too invested in his tome. Gotcha. Okay. So stealth grab. Tome of secrets, Ethan. Uh, if, <laughs> if you want to grab it, you just want me a sleight of hand. Who has wait, the highest wait, no, sleight of hand? Him. Grab him. Um, I have a decent sleight of hand, I believe. I have like a plus three or something. Okay. Go for uh, it. Let me double check. Oh, it's a plus two. Yeah, I have plus one. So we're using sleight of hand to grab a person. Oh, are you trying to grab the person or his staff? Person. Okay, you can grab him if you want. As you know, no, 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 never mind. Roll me a strength check. I can do strength. If you were just right. running in there and grabbing this man, roll me strength. All right, let's see. What does strength get me? Oh, eight. I'm so sorry. He rolled a 16. Ow! I can, can I try to nab his staff still? Yeah, you can. Uh, right, do it with I'll advantage, because he's way more focused on the Dragonborn trying to tackle him. Yeah, I'll just kind of, like, have my thing over here, because, you know, distraction. <laughs> that's a, Oh, okay, I got a nat 20 on the first one. Nice. No, yeah, that's perfect. You steal the staff. <laughs> All right. Do I hear the commotion? Oh, uh, yeah, you hear this. <laughs> okay, run around the other side. If you want. Okay, I'm all running around the other side. So as you run around the other side and enter the room before it, you just hear this mouse going ham with squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, you have another opportunity of distraction to use on him. <laughs> because now he's going to be distracted more, not just by the dragonborn him, but by the squeaking. The future is now, old man. Oh, who are you? <laughs> what are you Can doing in my bed chambers? Mouse? Can I grab the mouse? Yeah, sure. Okay, I want to grab the mouse and hold it. Still He's in my terrified hand. of you. <laughs> okay, let's, you let's go up person. to the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. If no, this is going for I think it's going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am just going to hold it and stand at the door without opening it. Listening he, yeah, in. He, he is like, who who are you people? Why are you here? Is, is this a coup? <laughs> Not quite. Oh, by the uh, way, Kiwi. Yeah. Add the staff of defense to your inventory. Okay. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do this. I don't want Manage inventory. <laughs> Add items. None of you can even use it. Yeah. Of. Are you death. sure? Uh, it's a, Are it's you a, sure about that? It's a spell casting modifier for mages. It's a spell casting tool for mages. You might be able to. Staff you might be able to attune defense. to it. Add. I mean, you might be able to attune to uh, it. Like, uh, add it to equipment or wizard. backpack. Uh, either way, it goes. It, 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 it gets added to your inventory. Okay. Unless it specifies a specific class, I'm pretty sure Corgi or me could use it. Uh, okay, I'll check while you guys. Uh, well, I guess interrogate this man. And I have it, apparently. Please, yeah. guys, pull through on this interrogation to shut oh, the operation. Oh, okay, man. interesting. I'll 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 go into this after. It does right. require attunement, apparently. Well, we're here to put an end to your bullshit, to put it in the simplest terms. He, he, he honestly is confused right now. He, he still thinks there's a coup going on. I 
anyone else want to weigh in on this? I can't. I'm on the other side of the door waiting. Should I just ready my crossbow and point it at him? <laughs> really? You want to. All right. Yeah, he gets exactly what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. You guys are here from the village. Mayhaps. Duh. Oh, I'm going to kill them all now. Definitely. After I take you out. He looks at his staff and sees it's not there and starts freaking out even more. <laughs> so what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Am I able to like I grab think... a hold of his shirt and then just kind of like <laughs> tug a bit <laughs> and like no. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Am I able to just like grab a hold of him to like try and intimidate him? Like grab a hold of his shirt kind of thing? Uh sure. Yeah. Uh elite, check check yeah. uh DMs. Or the group chat. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? If, oh, if they do good on this, no. <laughs> also, one second, quickly. Uh, uh, question: Are you, are you gonna also search that room, uh, Selka, or no? Um, not yet. Okay. What did you roll to intimidate? Let's see. A nine. Oh, you boy. think this scares me? I am the you mighty could... wizard glass staff. I mean, he... glass staff. Hang that on. Seems kind of fragile to me. The moment I hear this, I mean, I can open the door and scream at him. I will eat him. Showing the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you see another one coming out of nowhere. <laughs> what? 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 Another mouse. Another mouse. Hmm. You just hurt me. You hate me. <laughs> this mouse looks also frightened and just hides. <laughs> Jer Jeremy! Yeah. Rob, no! <laughs> Wait, which one's Rob? Uh, the one that you're holding. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, descendant, oh. <laughs> descendant of Robert. Oh, no. Actually, he oh was Robert's God. mouse before before I got him. Oh, poor Robert. It's been dead for years. Now. <laughs> you. You don't have a leg to stand on in this talk. Well, technically, I have two. I could change that real quick. You know what? No, no, I'm keeping that nine. No, you're keeping that nine. He's not scared of you. Can I shoot him in the knee? Oh yeah, sure, definitely. <laughs> Volta hit. Christ. Yeah, yeah Volta hit. Uh. Oh shit! I rolled a five, <laughs> or yeah. I rolled a three plus two. You miss. It just it just hits the floor. Whoa! That guy's a psychopath. He laughs. <laughs> Can I tie up Rob with a little string and such and put him in my pocket? Yeah, sure you can. I don't mind. Okay, okay. I'm gonna add rat to my inventory. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I would like to also collect the other. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Make sure you make sure you remember to give them the names of okay. Rob and Jeremy. <laughs> Rob yeah, and Jeremy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna take Rob and Jeremy because just the, the the appearance of a second one defeated me. I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna eat them. I'm just gonna take them. They're mine now. All I will say is, you guys are so lucky you grabbed that staff or he did, or one of you would be dead already. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's just say second level magic missiles do a lot of damage. <laughs> oh jeez. It'd be fine. Fine. You'd probably go after the one you know that that tried tackling him and just missed. <laughs> He's on full health. Yes, I am on full health. Uh, true, and I think only at second level it's only what plus one missile. It's only four instead of three. Something like that. So the max it could do is uh twelve damage. Mm. Yeah, that wouldn't even kill me. I mean, it would at this. Health, yeah, it would but... at this health, but. Uh, now I'm going to roll to hit that favorite spell in the game, okay. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, wh why are you, why are you trying to kill me? I'm just a 
I'm just a mage. I'm, I'm studying potions. A mage running a crime organization. Oh no no no! You you get it. You got it all wrong. You, you cut, cut it out, out there. You cut out, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and I'm back. <laughs> Jeremy or Jimmy? I already forgot. I, uh, I did not hear you now. I think Jeremy. Jeremy. It was Jeremy and Rob. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I remembered Rob. Wrong. We, we take this stuff to aid in our research. Bullshit. Roll me insight then. I mean, I know they're a criminal group. Oh, no, he's trying, to, you know, he's trying to deceive you. I didn't know, they're like... you know, with advantage. Okay. Oh god, dude, you're probably getting that. <laughs> you got an 11. 23. Yeah, yeah, you oh. see you see right through it. <laughs> May yeah. I, like, attack maybe one of his limbs and then be like, try again? If you'd want to. I say we just drag him to the middle of town. I'm sorry, I just found something really cool for one of your backstories. Uh -oh. You love to see it. Mm -hmm. But it all depends if you find it. Oh boy. Oh, well, we Someone better. Get... Someone get their rope. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone get their rope. I have Rope's rope. rope. So we can tie him up. Okay, I got rope. Wait, okay, before we rope. before we rope him oh, up, I I, I want mistake. I want to try and uh disable him from being able to walk <laughs> okay roll me a hit with disadvantage because you're aiming so perfectly for his legs all right i'm going to go with my great ass <laughs> with disadvantage <laughs> yes oh my god so we got a 12 and if she misses got... us she end up decapitating him so 12 <laughs> Wait, it was a 12. Wait, it's my disadvantage. One? Uh, yeah, the, you hit. The, the higher one is uh, 19. Yeah, you hit. Roll damage. Okay. Roll damage. Oh boy. <laughs> 13. Yeah, you just cleave off both this guy's legs. <laughs> uh, so you guys want to do something Did funny. Did you just say 13? Yeah. 13. Uh, want to hear how much health he has left? Because I know you guys aren't going to be killing him yet. Yeah, yeah. how much? Nine. Ooh. You almost killed him with one hit. <laughs> yeah. uh, did I win? Sadly, no. They outsmarted me. <laughs> Are you winning, son? <laughs> Lightning bolt. They also, also, Kiwi has a pretty cool magic item now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that, do you want me to explain what the Staff of Defense does? Yeah. So yeah, the Staff probably. has ten charges, which are used to fuel spells within it. So anyone can use it, including your... Silka, what are you again, a ranger? Yeah. Your ranger, your cleric, your artificer, or even your barbarian. Ah. Uh, but you can't okay. use it because you're obsessed with that great axe. Yes. <laughs> um, w uh, as an action, you can use the spell Mage Armor for one of the ten charges or Shield for two of the ten charges. Ah. Uh. At, at every day at dawn, you regain 1d6 plus four expended charges each day. <laughs> If, oh, that you, major if you expend the staff's last charge, you roll a d20 on a 1, the staff shatters and is destroyed. And ah. while holding it, you get plus 1 to your bonus, to your AC. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Interesting. You have a AC of 12, right? I do, yeah. Yeah, Mage Armor will make it like 16, so... Yeah, I believe so. Mage Armor's pretty good. Oh. Wow. It'll be pretty useful for you. Yeah. Not just that, you can cast, can't you cast mage armor on other people as well? Something like that? Yeah, so, oh, so, um, we're hot so mage, mage armor is 13 plus the dex modifier. Yeah, 13 plus dex. But, uh, yeah, you, you tie him up. Yep. Uh, so, like, uh, what are you guys gonna do now? Um, you wanna, like, leave his room? You wanna beat him up a little more? Yeah. I, I want to loot his room. I want. I yeah. want to see what's in here. I want just like to to 
I don't know. I'm tired. I'm gonna make I'm sure hungry. he doesn't have any focuses on him. Uh, roll me your investigation. Okay. Give me one second. Investigation. That's not good. Yeah, there's no more on him. It was the staff. <laughs> yeah, I figured it was, but... So, uh... You open up... So, who's up... So, uh, you said you wanted to loot the room, uh... Amtra? Yeah. Okay. You kick the chest Legend of Zelda style. <laughs> when it opens, yeah. you find... Uh, should I just put it in the chat, because it's a lot of stuff? <laughs> sure. Probably. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay. I just need to type this out manually because I have something important that's saved in my copies. My copy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing the N64 version. <laughs> yeah. I like Ocarina of Time, so. Uh, I prefer Majora's Mask. It's thank you, Elite. But I like Breath my, of the Wild. My, fav my favorite. I like Wind Waker. <laughs> my favorite is uh, not a Link to the Past. It's the one that it's based on. Based? based. No, not yeah. Based. Say, wait, Link to the Past is the one that was on 3DS, right? <laughs> no, that's on Link Between no. Worlds. Oh, Link Between Worlds. Oh, wait, 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 is Link Between uh, is Link to the Past the one that Between Worlds is based around? Uh, yes. A Link to the Past yeah. is the one on SNES. I think that's yeah, what I'm thinking that. of then. Actually, so Kiwi, you want to hear something interesting in here? Uh, this chest actually has an item um, um, that you can use for your homunculus. Oh? Yeah, a pearl worth 100 gold. I'll nab the pearl. Here is everything you find in that chest. Okay. Uh, it's 180, 180 uh, gold. 180 SP. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. So 180 silver, 130 gold, silk pouch containing five cornelians, past. 10 gold pieces each, two paradox, 15 gold pieces each, and one pearl, 100 gold pieces. Should I Charm add a pearl to my roll, inventory? Roll a fireball yeah. in 100. And I can, oh, you're I, I can show you, I, Kiwi, I can, I can show you how to make that your homunculus after we end. Okay. Literally, all of this stuff should just. We're. I'm. We should what were the other two gems I stole earlier, too? Uh, two granites that were worth 15 each. Okay. Let me just. Uh, do that. Can we just, uh, money daddy drop everything? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, I like it, it, it. Well, who specifically wants the charm per scroll and who wants the scroll fireball? I wouldn't mind Charm Person. Honestly. So Kiwi gets Charm Person? Can, can, can a DM weigh in for one second on what he thinks would be hysterical? What? <laughs> Either a gnome that cast Fireball one time in his life, or you have an Aarakocra flying through the air to cast Fireball. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me the fireball. I think. I, I think Corgi's more of a charm person, kind of. Okay. Give Give me the fireball. Yeah. Oh, okay, then uh, add add those two inventories. Um. It's since you're getting a lot of gem. Can I get a guard it? Okay. That's fine. I have the pearl now. I think the pearl's better anyway. Wait, how do I add the scroll to my inventory? Do I have to search up scroll? Also, uh, yeah, you have to put in scroll, and then I think I think it might put in like scroll. Or spell or scroll or... first level or spell scroll cantrip. Charm presence first level. Okay. Also, yeah, I added the second mouse just to fuck with you. <laughs> you to see well, now they're both my mice. You know what? Fine. I swear, if you pick Beastmaster, I'll let you have both of them. <laughs> um. Or with a high enough animal handling, one day you will be able to tame it. <laughs> let me let me see. Let me see. I mean, I just I, I didn't even tame them. Captured them. Oh no, I'm saying though, if you ever uh, them. if you ever want to try making them your pets and make them do stuff for you, even though you can't communicate with actually you could communicate with them in the future, 
You could stand them on the little cover op missions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 that's what I was thinking of doing. That's where I was going to go with this. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see. I saw something for for taming animals. Oh wait, I'm. S uh, actually, no, it won't. Actually, no, it won't disappear because because Lino is still alive. Yeah. So yeah, you just have you just have this dude's familiar in your pocket now. <laughs> and uh, some random mouse named Rob. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so Rob was not sure, his familiar? No. Rob was just his pet was his pet mouse from Robert. <laughs> oh, okay. The familiar was Jeremy. <laughs> I might give him Jeremy back. I might give him Jeremy. I love how I'm just we'll giving these what, names we'll, for fun. <laughs> we'll see what the town does with It's this. very funny. Also, Fireball Scroll. What? Which one is it? That's, a, that's a third level spell scroll. Oh, third level. That's why I'm not finding it. Yeah, because Fireball's a, level, a third level spell, right? Yes. Um, Spell scroll. Third level. Yeah, I think you can literally just add it. I just added first level spell scroll. Didn't it, it didn't tell me what spell to put it as? Yeah, it, it was not letting us specify the spell. Uh, just add it to the notes. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, there's... There we go. Wait, where's the notes? Uh, when you click on the item, it will have like a little thing you can click to edit it. Oh, customize oh, name yeah, notes. Name. Charm. You have to change your you have to change your name to Dar if you go Beastmaster. What a great movie. I don't know what that movie is. Got that charm. Curse. Okay, so. Okay, so. I guess you guys now also control the, uh. I, I guess you guys now control the Nothic. Wait, what? what? Oh? He never, he's, he's not gonna, he doesn't leave the cave, but Glassstaff was his master, technically. <gasps> Dang. You guys can't talk to him though, because you don't know what to common. <laughs> so, Selves. so, are there any books in the room that have under common translation? No. There's, this man okay. just knows oh. under common. There's a tome yeah. though. It's his, it's his magic spell book. Yeah. Can I read the spell book, or is it all in under common? Oh no, that's in com that's in uh that's in uh actually. Question, I always forget, what is the language of magic? It's not just like astral or some shit like that. Isn't it draconic? I believe it's draconic, so you know what? Oh, I would I say, really I would say it it's then. written in draconic, but there's a translation. I know draconic. <laughs> Even I do too. Say, this, this guy does know draconic, but I will say there is a translation for all, not all of them, but some of them. He was in the middle of, tr of finishing the translation as you guys came at him. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, so ancient magic was written in Draconic, and even older than ancient magic was written in an immortal language like Celestial yeah. or Infern. So, uh, in okay. the spell book, if, he, if you guys want to take the spell book, if you have a multi-class into, uh, Wizard, it has Light, Mage Hand, and Shocking Grasp as the cantrips. Charm Person and Magic Missile as the level 1 spells, and Hold Person and Misty, uh, sorry, Light, Mage, Hand, Shock, and Grasp, Cantrips, First Level, Charm Person, Magic Missile, Second Level, Whole Person, and Misty Step. Um, I will, I will just throw that in there quickly for y'all. If no one else wants it, I will uh, that, that's his spell book. But, uh, uh... not that's gonna matter unless any of you go down the path of Wizard. Oh! Foggy Fierce, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. I, I, hmm. I give you a shout. I out. don't know about myself yet. So I'll think about that. No, I said that. That's that. That you guys should have that book if you even if you continue with these characters later on. Yeah, yeah. Like that, mm -hmm. that, yeah. At least one of us will hold like, it. And not just that. Like, if we really wanted to, I like if we ever add more. It. Yeah, you could sell it. If we ever add more people in it, you could just give some ran. You give like a guest person just some random spell book as a like going away gift. <laughs> <laughs> if we ever have like guests join us, yeah. <laughs> okay. So everyone will put in their inventories what they're taking. 
from that batch? Uh, I just took the money and the carnelians and the paradox. I don't even know what carnelians are. <laughs> okay, and uh, Kiwi got the the pearl and the charm Holy scroll, crap, and I got those the are fireball. Gorgeous. An opaque orange to red brown gemstone. Yeah. Yeah. Those are gorgeous. Holy crap, I like them. Um, and just like me. Who, who wants Kiwi? You want to hold the tome for now, or should I hold it? Uh, I, I. The thing is, I already have lightning hand. So, like, if you want it, you can take it. But if you don't want it, I'll take it. Well, neither of you. I don't think neither of you could use it because you're not wizards. Well, yeah, neither of us could use it right now. It's just like I haven't decided only um, if I want to multi-class into something. And <laughs> yeah, he's well, potentially in that as, range. as as he as he's an artificer already, he might just be dumb. It would just kind of be worthless unless he wants wizard spells with his artificer spells. Okay, now I'll throw it in my backpack then. Okay, just some meta gaming there. All right. I mean, yeah, I took no, a scroll of fireball. Yeah, well, you don't need to be a, a mage to use scrolls. Right? I know, but it's like the, the idea is like, oh, potential interest in magic, and not and just so... that, and not just that, potential of putting it in your spell book. Zenrith could literally use the scroll if she really wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah oh my god! Imagine oh, a, a barbarian yeah. activating their mage and just instantly like using a fireball, or having like just a <laughs> teammate fire a fireball at them after activating their mage. <laughs> That'd all be of funny. you, do, all of you, to assume the rage is going to get activated. Shut up! We, all, we, hope, we hope it will one day. Uh, so, you guys tying up glass staff and taking him back to the town? Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. So, what's in this room? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, what is? Is there anything? So, roll me a perception check. Ew. I was okay. like, invest, invest, invest. Investigation. Oh, wait, yeah, Got yeah. it. Investigation. Okay. Can I go with the perception uh, check, please? No. Mine's an eight. I am saying uh, invest because you are specifically looking for something. Six. Anyone else rolling or? I oh. had I had eight. Uh, that's not good. That's a nat You, you guys one. might oh, as well. No, Kiwi. Uh -huh. Um. <laughs> Kiwi, please, please, please. Hang on. All right, fine. I'm gonna do that instead of. The very stupid thing I was thinking a minute ago. Um, you said a perception or an invest? Investigation. Invest? Okay. Actually, oh, they're the same uh... modifier. I got a 22. <gasps> okay, Corgi, you are looking through the books. Do you speak Dwarven? I think I, I, so, I, actually. I speak Dwarvish? Yes, I speak Dwarvish. <laughs> Kiwi, you see a book. The book. It is just... With the it just has a name on it, which is Ermon. Ermon? Yeah. Ermon? It looks to be a tome. I'll flip through the pages. As you flip through the pages, it describes the history of the lost mine of Fandelver and the Forge of Spells. Uh -huh. I'm taking that. In wait, there's more though still. In addition, oh. Armand records that a magic mace named Lightbringer was commissioned by priest of Lathandar, the god of dawn. Huh. From That's the mages a... working with the gnomes and dwarves of the Fandelva Pact. The mace was lost when the wave echo cave and the mine vanished from history. That's slightly oh. relevant. Huh, just yeah. slightly. Yeah, do, do you bit. see why I'm so happy Kiwi rolled high? Remember what I said about, hey, there's something in here that would make sense for one of your backstories. Yeah. <laughs> also, sitting on the table for everyone else who rolled a trashy. Who wants, who, okay, so one for Stownix. Olive, what did you roll? I had gotten eight. And what did you roll again? Uh, Six. Six? Okay. Uh... Just gonna throw this in the chat real quick. Can, okay, quick question: Can everybody change their name on Roll Twenty to their character name? Because so I so I won't keep forgetting. Uh, I can try to remember. Yeah, I can do oh, that. Oh, I did that in the beginning. Yeah, uh, Zinus, okay. you find mm -hmm. in a bottle, Dragon Bile, <laughs> which is about Ooh. worth twenty-five gold at an apothecary or alchemist. Ooh. All right, uh, Silka, you find Mercury. 
Ooh. Which is also valued around 25 gold pieces to an apothecary or alchemist. And lastly, Moonlight, you find a bottle of powdered nightshade. Yummy. All right next to each other on the table. Terrible. Also, that 25 gold pieces to sell to an apothecary or alchemist. Yeah. That, that's a specific that's a specific thing. Is it a potion? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's something very specific. Mercury, nightshade, and uh, I don't know, dragon bile? I don't know. This place kind of looks like a uh, wizard workshop. I mean, yes. I, I... And, uh... I would you stab know what? somebody. Kiwi. What? You also find a spell scroll for the light cantrip on while looking through the wall while looking through the shelves oh okay i'll add that to my inventory do you guys want this or or does someone else want the light because i have dark vision i also have dark vision uh, I the don't light have spell dark allows vision. you the light spell allows you just the cantrip just allows you to put a light on an object that lasts for a certain amount of time that shines in a thirty foot bright light, thirty foot dim light radius. I mean Okay. But so you that's that not... can be pretty helpful. I'll take it, guess then. Add to backpack. How much was it the did. vial worth again? Twenty-five gold. Every everything, then, all three vials you guys found on the table are worth twenty-five gold each. Gotcha. Only uh, if you sell it to an apothecary or a alchemist. Let me customize and add the note. Here. Alright, I so none of us know what to do with any of that stuff, right? <laughs> not at the moment, I don't think. No, not, not in game. Not in game. Yeah, I guess we move on then. Okay. Yeah. Um, in, in keeping note, we are dragging this hog hog tied individual behind us. Yes. Actually, uh, actually, okay. is he is he awake? No, he's awake. What are you gonna make with this? He can't walk. He can't walk. I I disabled his walking ability. <laughs> As you said, no. I was working We're dragging on him potions. With us. Well, yes, we get you're working on potions, but what are you gonna make with this specifically? I don't know yet. How? Roll a. You prepare a table and don't know what you're making. Yes, it's all trial and error. Can he roll a, uh... You're a terrible alpha. Insight or whatever. He's telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> that, but, but he's a terrible alchemist if he's telling the truth. I have been trying for seven years, okay? Give me a break. Cry about it. All I've been able to make is a single health potion and an invisibility potion. Oh, you mean those things that, uh... I kind of feel bad for for having his legs chopped off. Uh, do you guys know uh, <laughs> that one scene in Monty Python and the Holy Grail where the guy like tries like hop towards him without his legs? <laughs> yes. He's I doing that right so. now towards Moonlight. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, I thought we were dragging him. He can hop, I guess, if he really wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I oh. could just grab him by, like, I don't know, the hoodie, I think. Is, uh, but, yeah, you could, like, just drag him by his hood. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Alright. <laughs> so then, I, okay. you're all heading uh, back I to guess... town? It, or did uh, we want to investigate the other two room? rooms? Yeah, I was gonna say, there's still a bit of this dungeon. Okay. I mean, we don't know that the, the, the Nofek was by him. Like us ourselves, we as characters. All right, so you uh, so you enter. Hey guys, hey. how you do? Hey, welcome to Glass Staff. Ah, <laughs> uh, wait, doesn't doesn't Dragonborn have Glass Staff? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I just uh, drag him in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm down for that, honestly. Okay. We caught a couple of invaders coming in, and we managed to stop them. They're all way dead in his quarters. We're just taking him to get healed up. 
Owe me a deception. Wait, what how does, how yeah, they believe it. Go bold on that one. They believe it. <laughs> they just believe that. <laughs> As you're dragging him by the foot. Yeah, they believe it. <laughs> He's not going to speak up about this. What's in the room? <laughs> uh, there's a table yes, the um, that has just a bunch of money on it. While you okay, guys are... so they're gambling. While you guys are doing that, I'm going to grab the chair from his room and come back out into the hallway. So when um, you guys are done, we can bar the door. On the uh, on the table, you see 75 CP, 55 SP, 22 EP, 15 GP, and a gold and gold earring set with tiny rubies. I'll pass. So we Anyways. could either we could either take them on, or we could leave them be. I mean, we got their leader. Um, what about? So they got no direction for anything. They're just gonna be stuck here themselves. I mean, yeah. we can send the guards in here. Who knows, maybe that money could help rebuild the town a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to be able to get out of here anyway, so... Yeah, like, they're not going to check on their boss this room for a while. They think we're just going to come back with the boss at this point. So they're going to be sitting here lollygagging got to switch positions with uh, the ones locked up in their prison. Well, that's yeah. what the chair is for. Yeah. I'm gonna bar the door so they can't get out. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we just go through the other side. Yeah, yeah, we, we just go through the other side. Actually, like, how many chairs are there at the table? Uh, there's, there's four. There's one for each of them. Is there anything oh, oh, else only of note no, okay. besides the chair from in the corner? The dude's room. Yeah, there's only one chair in that room. I was gonna bar the other. Yeah, no, nothing else other than what's on the table. You know what? Can we can we okay. snatch a barrel from the corner here and then take it through the door? Uh, I guess we'll be a strength check. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll roll strength check for that. Um, fourteen. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Okay, yeah, okay. So, since there's nothing of interest aside from on the table, that's correct? Yeah, nothing of interest except for what's on the table. And we're good leaving them, guys, right? Yep. Okay, then. You yeah, walk on through. <laughs> yep. With, uh, whips, interest, and. Uh, yeah. Yes, we just, we just walk on through as if nothing happened. <laughs> And I just dropped the barrel in front of the door. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, so the they can't get out. Bedroom. Yeah, as long as uh, you know, they walk through. Or... And then the last place to check before we head out, because we pretty much are on our way out. What's in this room? Okay. Yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think you're stronger than three bugbears? Ah! Ah! Uh, um! Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Close the door. Wait, before, wait, after you do that, <laughs> uh, the little goblin who's in the milk runs out and just hugs you. <laughs> wait, what? Oh. And then you close the door. Oh. Uh, okay, okay. Dro uh, um... Droop, Droop was scared for his life. <laughs> hey, Doobie. Thank you for saving me. Ah, they were torturing you? You're okay no, now? No, they just uh, they were just jerks. They made, they made me do their laundry. <laughs> they had like laundry? Okay. Yeah, they had laundry. <laughs> um, but they're bugbears. Don't they go down that hands. hall. Go towards the exit. <laughs> Damn, uh, really are. Droop really wants to join you guys. I don't sure. want to. Sure. <laughs> No? Why not? <laughs> I, I won't hurt any out, of you guys. You smell. Out of, out, out I of everyone. <laughs> I, I legit expected everyone to be on board but Zinnerus, because Zinnerus just sees goblin blood. <laughs> yeah, it it's true. backwards. It, it's backwards now. Everyone's <laughs> no but Zinnerus. What? 
I'm okay with it. I'm just sus. I, I don't really. He said he won't hurt you. You can, roll you can roll insight on it. I don't really actually care that much. I just thought it'd be funny to say no. So, Kiwi, oh, okay. you can roll insight to see if he hurt you guys. Alright, I'll roll insight, I guess. Even though I only have a plus one. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I got a lying. 10. You believe him. He does not seem like he's okay. lying at all. Alright, you know, I'll take him. Uh, Here's my question Zamers, for you, you guys. Believe? Hmm? Oh, God. Should we use a goblin stashy, or do you want me to make a level one character for Droop where you decide the class? Up level one character. Level, level one character? character. Okay. Right. You now have a little goblin. <laughs> Let's go! Um, he will do your laundry. <laughs> I, I mean, why not? Can he have catapult? No. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Can you catapult laundry in people? Okay, you could. Okay, if you have the if you have the enlarge and reduce spell, you could catapult droop. <laughs> oh yes. God. First you reduce him, oh and then you catapult him. Oh, of course. So you, okay, <laughs> so you got you guys. I need drag, to get reduced uh, now. So you guys I'm... drag uh, glass staff back to uh, Fandel. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back yeah. around here and like use my torch to like mark this. Okay. Quick question. Well, then you guys explain. I guess you guys explain the entire thing. Thing. How is the Norfolk controlled? Nothing? Uh, he just doesn't care. He just likes he just likes being around where magical energy is. So he he's just gonna kind of chill in the cave. Oh, so uh, so cool. um, Glo uh, Glass Sap had no actual control of him. No, they just have mutual agreement not to mess with each other. Ah, okay. Gotcha. So if they see Glass Staff dead, they're not gonna care. No, no, he wouldn't care at all. Okay, dude. It, any of you spoke Undercommon and at least rolled a ten on a persuasion check, he would have went in and attacked him. Damn. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Wow. Like seriously, he would have just said, "Screw this noise." <laughs> Man. When okay. I get comprehend languages. <laughs> I might have overestimated him. No, I say, they, they, they're, 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 they, they, I think they're chaotic evil. Wait, wait did he classify at? Oh wait, no, never mind. It's he's tons, not. He's, not, he's uh, an aberration. Yeah, I, I realized after do, 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 after do, 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 I, I asked that earlier. Hey, look who's in town! <laughs> wow, by the Stonehill Inn. Oh my god, so, uh, um... I had ten, so... I had not, I had like two, four, six encounters for you guys. <laughs> you so... really overestimate how slow D&D &D can be. I was expecting us to be there for two sessions. Oh, in that dungeon? Yeah. Ah! Oh. Especially, especially with how much, how often we fudge rolls. Not fudge, how often we fail. Excuse me. Look, we failed successfully, okay? <laughs> oh, is that glass stuff? That it is. Is he screaming in agony because he doesn't have legs? <laughs> no, he's chilling out. No, he's, kind of he's kind of gotten over it. <laughs> he's well, gotten you know over what? the legs. Damn. No legs. <laughs> <laughs> well then, after you got, will you guys I'm hand him over? Would you guys? Would you guys? Are you guys gonna be handing him over to Sildar Hall Winter for justice? Whatever is, local authorities there are, he, it would be yeah, Hall Winter. Yeah, okay. and then I'll inform him about the imprisoned red. Okay. So Good people, Good we, we got <laughs> we got glass staff here. You can do with him as you please. Um, there's four red brain, unknowing about what's going on, trapped in a room with a barrel and a chair in the way. There's another two red brains locked in a prison cell in the far back. Watch for the trap in the floor. Um, and then watch out for the bugbears. Uh, if you go left and left from the entrance, <laughs> um. Yeah, you probably don't want to go in there. I also Otherwise, the there's, room. there's food to the right. Watch for a Norfolk down the center of the cave. So just 
on the, the sides, and you should be good to go in raiding a place. Also, what's with the uh, the little goblin dude? Oh, oh, he's chill. Friend. He's chill. He, didn't, he wanted to follow us, so... I can't argue against that, I guess. Yeah, he's harmless. We got him. Yeah. He's apparently good at doing laundry. <laughs> Uh, does does Glassstaff have like a shirt pocket or somewhere or anything? No, he does not. Wait, he's he's wearing like, he's wearing like the same robes you guys had on when you were in there. Wait, is, and is the guy who is the guy who runs the in there? Stonehill? Uh, he's not yeah. outside right now, but he's inside. The, he's inside. Damn, I was gonna uh, ask if he needed someone to do laundry for. Him. Don't does try to hand Voop any... off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I, like, just, like, tuck Jeremy into, like, his, like, neck collar or something? Yeah, you can just give him to him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Jer Jeremy's hogtied. I just didn't want him le left anywhere. It would just, just like, be funny, sure. though. <laughs> it's funny, he'll probably be disintegrating soon enough. Uh, Glass Staff will probably be dead soon. Yeah, it's all... I, I was him. just thinking they yeah. could go together at Maybe. So, do you guys want him? Do you guys want him dead, or should we make sure he's not dead? Well, uh, I feel like without legs, whether he's dead or not is uh, basically a moot point. Yeah, you go in a wheelchair. I mean, there is magic wheelchairs and prosthetics and stuff. So. Yes, but why would we give them to a criminal? Another fair point. That's for you guys to decide. Look, I don't see us as executioners. I see us as just a messenger for Justin. Also, you are level up to level three. Oh. What? <laughs> Thank you, sir. You said Wait. that in character. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. If you, guys, no is... if you guys ever say what you roll in in character, I will straight up say, I will straight up say, haha, you can't hit me. That's too weak. Um, how do I level up again? <laughs> we uh, we can go over that after we finish, because I think that's where we'll be ending. We've been going over about four and a half hours. Uh, it's 2 a.m. Yes! Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's 2 yeah. a.m. <laughs> I'd love to go on, but I have work. Oh, here we go. Manage like character level. Yeah, I think this is where we'll be ending tonight. <laughs> yes, definitely. Character level three. Wait, how do I add it? Oh, Thank here we go. Level three. who came out tonight. We had a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah. We are making steady pace. We we've basically finished a chapter per session. Yeah. I just unlocked spiritual weapon. Also, all out. I'm saying is there's no way you're completing chapter three in one session. Bet. Unless you just skip it. <laughs> you, you doubt us. No, it's actually really long. It's the I longest have... in the campaign. Uh should I raid into ASM? No, I'm just kidding. Do not raid That's into a terrible ASMR. idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might look up Dungeons and Dragons streamers actually and see if any of them are going. I got nobody right. to, to raid I'm gonna grab off silence. Anyone, so. I'm looking for Dungeons and Dragons streamers <laughs> uh, who is not in critical a... role. I think they're not live right now. Uh, I, I think oh yeah, it's I'm Tuesday. Gonna, I think I'm gonna raid into uh, Breath of the Wild. Are, they are, they are on their part three, but I'm rating them. <clears throat> All right. Well, do you want me to do the outro for everyone? Sure. I now I, have I, lesser I, restoration, I, I silence, and it. spiritual weapon. I was ready right. to do it, but I just noticed Olive is like deafened. Well, okay. Everybody except Olive gets my outro. Yeah. Olive Go ahead and um, copy the so raid cool. message if you got one of those, because your poggies like that. Um, put your favorite sub emote on the end or use a sub rate if you're a different streamer and you use one of those uh, also go ahead and check out the about page uh, that has the twitter and discord and whatever other socials you guys use and uh, yeah I'm going to go raid this person because I haven't raided them in a while but I follow them on twitter <laughs> and yeah copy the raid message put sub emotes on the end Make sure to check out everyone who's in the exclamation mark collab. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next stream. My next one's probably 
Probably Thursday night. Yeah, Thursday night. Yeah, I'm trying to go. I'm trying to do one tomorrow morning. But thank you to mm -hmm. everybody who came out to my stream tonight. We are going to be raiding uh, Stellar Cosmister. Have a nice night.